Yeah. Did you guys want to do previously on Dragon Ball Z? <clears throat> okay. Um, then we got our fucking butts kicked a little bit. Yes, we did. We started with the well, last session we made a makeshift blacksmith, and it's the same session. Doesn't matter. Shit. Yeah, same turn. Matter. Settlement turn. Yeah, keep going. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, yes, we headed to the, the demon fort. It's occupied by gecklings. There's a really big, tough one. Uh, it was actually quite fun. Uh, it was theatric. Um, we got our asses kicked. We ran. We hid. Saw the big bad guy, the, the big fat one fucking <laughs> rolling out with five of his dudes. And yeah. we quickly were like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking, we took the opportunity to go back and take out the rest of his dudes. I think it was actually the rest of them, too. Just those three. They're all I think so. there, I think. I hope so. It seems like it, because... Well, the part that worries me is that, like, this building seems a lot fucking bigger <laughs> than yeah. what we got to... Dude, I bet we're going to find, like, eggs here. Some shit. Here we have to splat some little gecko babies. Or... I mean... Probably out of... Burning hands. No. Yeah, well, to cook. Yeah. Yeah. Is it cannibalism if you cook if you eat like the babies of a humanoid? Dude, if they're coming out of eggs, well, they're such a different animal. It's like it's the dungeon meshy rules. Is like if it's humanoid, you're like, eh, you know, maybe, but probably shouldn't. Uh, yeah. So after we we killed them, we were like, well, we're still in no shape for the big guy, so let's get the fuck out of here. And so we did. And then we came back and walked into his marvelous trap. Yeah. All the power of a seven eight mind. Yep. We kicked his minions' asses, and then they were kicking our asses, and we were yeah. Away. We just got too many pot shots in in the process. Um, fucking Hadrian was surrounded. <sighs> like I fog clouded him. We ran away. He went down Dude. to like one H or. You know, you and fucking Beeple got really low, so Aldrich yeah. started yelling at the thing <laughs> to get its attention. Then the thing, the guy fucking chased me for miles and miles. Yeah. I had to expend two whip vines to fucking catapult myself a hundred feet through the air. Mm -hmm. The second time into a river. That shit was, that shit was crazy. Long story short, uh, we did in fact get away. We amped. We're all split up. We don't know where Jabif lives or each other. Yep, you're just in different spots in the forest. With the aggressive only... people searching for you as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only other thing of note was that we... Uh, we get, I get, or Aldrich gave some dudes like 20 gold and had them buy ale, which gave us a... Uh, like an inspiration a for yeah. Yeah, a morale buff. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we can just start off the session mere moments after the previous session ended. I don't think you guys have camped yet. Nope. Uh I think Aldrich is literally in a bush. <laughs> no, you're like walking or like uh you went to the right and the chieftain went forward, right? And you heard him like in the distance and you just kept running. And now hours later, you think you've lost him. You don't hear him anymore, but that doesn't mean like the chieftain hasn't like started employing other measures, right? Right. And so no more travel, huh? For the day. Um, let me do some measurements. Uh, the second you took a long rest and then came back to his trap, right? Mm hmm So, there's still some travel time yet. And theoretically speaking, <laughs> the Chieftain has eight hours of travel time more than you guys right now. <laughs> for the record. Oh, God. Okay, I guess... 
Or, uh, you know, four more, I mean. Is this the time for action? Well, this is the time for the first question. So you guys are going to be taking separate rounds home, as far as I know, right? Like, I mean, if you yeah, meet up... We can find each other, yeah. sure, but, you know. You're not exactly going out of your way to be like, Adrian! Yeah, we ain't screaming, hell no. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> so you're... I think you guys told me in between sessions that you both came up with the other person is probably going home, right? Because mm -hmm. we're all fucked up. We know where home yeah. is. We're right? smart, yeah. We know we're the smart. river leads to home, so we're both going to be taking that route. If we meet each other, we meet each other, right? Yep. I kind of want to do things separately, maybe? Like having one person in a different voice channel each time, but I don't know. Uh... I'll, I'm pitching it to you guys. Because it might be like 20 minutes or something of silence for whoever's turn it is not. Uh, I can you, just like watch a YouTube video or something, dude. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Awesome. Well, then, who wants to go first? Uh, had a coin. Heads or tails? He's asking you, Aldrich. Uh, yeah. Oh god, sorry. Uh, I was reading the message. Uh, heads. Okay. Wow. It's tails never fails, so bro. It's gonna be tails. Is that is that the determination? It's tails. Yes. Okay, that sounded like a prediction. No. Shit. <laughs> it is tails. <laughs> <laughs> Look, tails never fails. What can I say? It's a rule I live by. No, it's true because it rhymes. All right, well, yeah, bye -bye. you can go to a different bye -bye. channel. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Hadrian. Oh, boy. Yeah, the last you saw was the chieftain, like, swimming across the river, and you went your own separate way because you had yeah, I four tried to HP. Yeah, again to come back across the fucking river halfway. Yeah, but he's too aggroed. Mm -hmm. He ignored you. You know that that other guy, the chieftain's right-hand man, assuming it's a chieftain and there isn't, like, some even bigger lizard, you know? Mm -hmm. The right-hand man was also, like, chasing you, but was further yeah. behind. You kind of lost him, but that's, like, in Hadrian, the back of his mind, I would assume. Yep. Unless he just so, forgot. I think what he's going to do is run back to the forest line. Yeah. And, uh then try to like climb a tree or something like that or find somewhere to like hide that's like you know yeah you're just gonna hide in place uh not in place like we're gonna keep going but so a temporary like, hide slower. yeah just to like wait for the dude to pass or try to find out where he is yeah just to see kind of like what's going on okay yeah give me like a perception check okay. as you climb up to the top of the tree terrible for my negative one whiz i mean 13 is pretty good so you see north of the river i say north on the opposite side of the river some distance away sort of where you saw aldrich and the chieftain were but like mm -hmm. this is we're talking miles of forest here there is like small like smoke of a campfire mm -hmm. uh looking around like scanning your surroundings unfortunately the big guy uh isn't like pushing trees you know yeah mm -hmm. uh how long are you gonna wait for a sign of the right hand man um Maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. Just also let me catch my breath a little bit. Okay. As you're, you know, waiting the top of the tree, you will eventually see the right-hand man, like, swimming across the river in the same direction as Aldrich and the Chieftain. Mm -hmm. 
and disappear into the forest line. So you know he's not currently on your tail. All right, you also, during this hour, this is more like 10, 20 minutes in, okay. see across the river, but to the east, maybe? Uh, some trees, like, move. My intuition tells me that this could be Jabifel. No, this is far away. Right, the, oh. the base was to the west, if this is truly the east, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just see, like, thunder hitting trees, like lightning bolts or something. Hmm. Like, the, sa the, the signs of, like, magical combat or something. But this is probably, like, an hour away, at least. Gotcha. And obviously, they, like, different color lightning bolts. Anything weird about it? Or just normal lightning bolts. Well, it's like um, it just reminds you like if like a wizard like cast fucking lightning spell, like it's from the ground going up. It's not. Yeah. So yeah, that like happens. There's a commotion, like a tree falls, which you notice, mm -hmm. but then it dies down. Probably like a minute or two later. Okay. No, I probably need to avoid whatever that is too. No, it's luckily on the it's on Aldrich's side of the river, so <laughs> not my problem. Exactly. <laughs> so time passes. You know, you eventually see the dude swim across. What does Adrian do next? Uh, By the way, did you wait. take a short rest today? You have two short rests, right? right? Did I? Yeah. In a day. I don't think you have. Yeah. I don't think I took another one. No, I took the one. Then you effectively gain a short rest while you're up here. Oh, that is good. Let's do that. Short rest. Awesome. Okay. So, up to 16 HP. Back to an HP where you don't instantaneously die. Yep. That's what I love to see. I saw tire typing for a second. <laughs> yeah. It's coming up something witty to say about it. Uh -huh. So, yeah. What do you do next? Sorry, queuing. Um, well, I think I'm going to go down the tree. And then, uh. Yeah, you climb on like, kind of make my way back towards town, but also looking for a place to kind of camp out tonight. All right. You'll be traveling. Uh, do you maintain sight on the river, or are you just gonna like follow its general direction, the like blur burbling of it? Um, I mean, you know, it depends what I think that I like. It needs. I think that would definitely be periods where I will stay closer to the river, but then sometimes I might go in a little bit inward into the okay. forest. Just to kind of like make sure I'm checking things out and being not super obvious. Okay. Uh, you will come across a couple things as you travel southwards. And, uh, you know, again, these directions are not like true cardinal directions, right? You haven't like survival mm -hmm. checked it, but this is just relative. Yeah. Uh, you will come across a sweet scent. This is like an hour or so of travel later. Maybe a little bit less. But, uh, you know, it's all difficult terrain, so you've been, like, pushing through, like, brush, right? Getting, like, small cuts and bruises just from the fucking bramblewood. It's shitty, like, brambly bushes yeah so you know you're walking feeling a little bit tired and you smell uh something kind of delicious smelling it's like somebody's cooking something or is it just yeah like i did there was this was the direction i mean it's on your side of the fucking river right but this is the direction where there's a campfire 
Not exactly. The campfire you saw was more north. You were going more south. Oh, okay. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, it's hard to keep all this shit in my fucking mind's eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I mean, that's natural. You are walking through a forest. You're pretty sure it's not the same campfire. Yeah. But yeah, you smell like... It smells like roast pork or something. Oh, uh, well, I might try to maybe get a little closer. Figure out, like, exactly what's going on. Yeah. Okay. You will, uh... So, luckily, it seems somewhat close-ish to the river. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can just keep following the river. You know, and as you're walking along, the sand gets like thicker and thicker and you eventually see a couple like two to three trees that have been like felled and put over the river okay to form a sort of bridge which i will mark okay. on my on my secret map okay And uh, you're pretty sure this wasn't here before. Like this, yeah. the river's vaguely familiar. Mm -hmm. And you can see. But I still can't see the the source of it. Uh, well, give me a perception check. Come on, two for two, buddy. Hey. So yeah, a combination of sight and smell, right? You can smell the roast pork from deeper within the forest and you can see another campfire like fairly close by if i go down to like the fucking uh the logs uh do i see like lizard fucking feet prints around them um I mean, I know I don't have, like, super fucking high... Yeah, can you give me a survival? Shit, but I figure there's, like, silt and mud and shit. Yeah, it should be a low DC, but give me, like, a survival, just in case. Because, yeah. uh... Oh. oh, yeah. No, you see humanoid footprints. Hmm. Okay. Like, big booted ones. Yeah, I'll prepare to cross the, uh... The thing and approach this camp. The camp is on your side of the river. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It seems like whoever, like, fucking felled these trees and drug the thing cross, maybe. Yes. Yeah, well, I would, uh... So, w with the 19, you'll notice that this is, like, inhumanly large booted footprint. Like, Esterman? Like, bigger, bigger than Esterman. Like way bigger. Not way bigger. Well, like, maybe it's just, like, a freakishly large Esterman. Just a fucking big dude. Yeah. It could be, like, you know, a basketball player Esterman. <laughs> right. Oh, well, then I will approach cautiously. All right. So, you... Yeah, as stealthily as I can. Yeah, well, then give me that stealth. All right. I'm very stuck. All right. So you come across the scene. You sort of like round a small hill, right? And crouch behind a bush as soon as you realize that you're seeing something, you know? Mm -hmm. And the sight you see is first the like boar, right? But this is no ordinary boar. This is a fucking boar the size of a bear, at least. Jesus, it's some bramblewood-ass bear. Yeah. Boar, yeah. And it's on, like, there's a big campfire and there's a spit. And it's being rotated, but you don't see how it's being rotated at first. So you stand there for a moment. Like, this is before you crouch, and then you realize that there's, like, a spectral hand that is turning the spit. Hmm. And, you know, that's concerning and confusing, and you look around and you see that sitting on a log nearby is what is probably a demon, or alternatively some sort of other thing. 
You could give me like a religion check, maybe. Sure, I am proficient. Not, okay, we're not, fine. We're not doing good on the things that I'm supposed to be good at today. Well, uh, you think it's probably demon? It's got horns like a demon. Okay. And it's like this big blue dude who's like shirtless and he's got like a weapon strapped to his back and he's just like reading a book while sitting on this log while this boar is cooking. And, uh, does Aldrich know like do demons normally read books? Uh, well, you are Hadrian, not Aldrich. Yeah, sorry. Dude, I don't know why I keep messing up her fucking names. But yeah. Um. Well, here's the thing. Because I can't picture those fucking skull idiots reading books. Yeah, it depends on the <laughs> demon. Like, you've only encountered, like, trash demons so far, right? Mm -hmm. Because you started the campaign at level 3, so. Mm -hmm. Like, demons talk, demons walk, demons wear clothing. So it's reasonable that a demon would read. You've only seen asshole ones that are dumb and probably wouldn't read. Yeah. But, like, well, the thought doesn't seem impossible. Like, you've heard that more powerful demons are more intelligent. Yeah, well, we're gonna try to get out of there. Okay. So you, like back up mm -hmm. and you know with the four stealth like yeah, a twig will still. fucking snap mm -hmm. hey, the oni the ogre the thing the creature mm -hmm. sort of glances in your direction sees you <laughs> retreating and laughs mm. that's, that's fair enough and uh says bye bye scaredy cats as you uh, retreat mm -hmm. well I'll uh, give him a bit of passing advice as I go that there are angry lizard men in this forest somewhere if perhaps he would like to find something to fight So you found your tongue. If you're gonna give me a warning and take a seat. Like motions for you to yeah. I'll like come on over. Approach. <laughs> so you you've encountered these lizards. Yes. I'm feeling like the opposite side of the spit. They most recently. Are not very dangerous to me, but I imagine for a little Greenlander like yourself, be quite a menace. In numbers, yes. Hmm. Perhaps you are a tough specimen, relatively speaking. Kind of do a little tiny nod. I've been through this area many a time. It was quite surprising to see creatures resembling the beast clan here they were not here 30 years ago like, a lot of things weren't here 30 years ago ha <laughs> ha you can say that again tell me what are well, what is a human doing in Checking notes. Magus Bar. Well, I'll kind of, you know, play my cards close to my chest and say, no, the miasma has receded. Indeed it has. So naturally curious and want to see what has changed. Oh, so an adventurer of sort. You could say that. Oh, I understand. You claim that the, the lizard men are part of the beast clan? No, they I resemble. They resemble the Beast Clan. Yes, we're on the same page. Yeah, you know, I didn't think that they were outworlders either. No, they would. They would speak our tongue, probably. Not be corporeal, like most. Hmm. 
I'm here for the same reason. I heard that the miasma had lifted. So I explore. I've taken to hunting thunder boars. I mean, I guess this land has changed many animals. But this is one of the biggest ones I've seen. Me not. Then you should travel further north. There are even bigger than this. In due time. What's your name, Greenlander? Hadrian. Well, Hadrian, Balgax the Butcher offers hello. And I offer my own greeting. All right, let me write that name down real quick. Can share in the warmth of my fire and of the meat. Should you desire, I cannot eat it all. Some will go to waste. Thank you. Is there any way that I can repay you? Pleasant conversation. Stories about the goings-on in your land. Perhaps in the future, we can arrange trade. I can trade this book for one of yours, though. I do not imagine you carry them on you, he says. I have no books on me right now, no. It has been entertaining getting into Greenlander literature. It's quite different from what I have at home. I can imagine. I know someone who I think would be quite interested in getting hands on some outer world literature. Hmm. I have to see if I have any left. So he'll make small talk. Basically, uh. Yeah. I was gonna ask him about the lightning. If he saw that earlier. He nods, says yes. <laughs> he, he gestures at the boar. Thunderboar. Makes sense. <laughs> Indeed. But no match for a member of the Oni clan. Kind of absorbing all this information, trying to keep it all straight. All right, guys, who look like this, they're the Onis. Okay. So he'll ask like some questions, just basically like where you're from. How'd you get as tough as you did? Yeah, and I'll, did you participate in the yeah, war 30 years ago? You know? Nope. I was a wee little baby. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give him away that there's, like, a settlement that we're, like, settling this place. Yeah. But I'll basically tell him, you know, like, everything else to that. That there's, like, you know, I'm from a town way down south called Port Silver. Well, I was part of this order that kept peace among these cities. He, uh, nods and laughs a little bit. Says, it's a little bit of a foreign concept where I come from. Based off the other, uh, demons that I've met, I can understand that. It's good for the soul to fight. In lands like this, I agree. Makes us all stronger. <clears throat> kind of nod, and, but then be like, well, human civilization is built on the idea of cooperation. But it can only get you so far out in these lands. It is true. Cooperation... It's very difficult in hell. Our people are too rambunctious. It was a miracle the Demon King had uh, created order from the chaos. 
What became of the Demon King? Oof. You should know. He was slain. I was kind of like looking over my shoulders for that, but to be honest, I never bought it. Uh, how cool is that? <laughs> Kind of shrug. It all seemed a little convenient. Well, I wasn't personally there at that point. You see, I'm a little bit of a deserter. <laughs> 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 but I had heard tell of what had happened. He smiles and he leans in a little bit. What happened to the Demon Lord is what could happen to me. Kind of like raising an eyebrow, the miasma? No. You see, I am here in the flesh. So too, the Demon Lord must have been. Why would he have done that? Was he just overconfident? Perhaps. From what I've heard, he was defeated once and wanted to save things by coming out again, but it would have taken too long to use magic to form a crystal. I'll just kind of nod. Interesting. But who could blame him for feeling invincible? After all, he had slain your old king who was supposedly the toughest of the humans. Now, he did, he did fight four on one. Plus some change, armies, stuff like that. Wasn't exactly one on one, but I don't predict that he thought he was gonna die. I very much doubt it. Then again, who all does? Indeed. So is there, you know, yeah, yeah I was going. kind of like, well, I'm sure you know this, but in my short times in this land already, they have proven to be very mysterious. True. Though your lands always have had some mysterious qualities to them. Fair enough. I'll ask him if he knows anything about the uh, ancient mages of Saltatan. Not particularly. Me neither. The... You know their ruins are buried further into the... Yeah, I know what you're speaking of. The towers, right? Yeah, yeah. We're basically under orders not to mess with them. Hm. The ecclesiarchy uh, considered them bad news. I'm pretty sure, sure that we view them the same way. <laughs> Sorry, repeat. I said I'm pretty sure that we view them the same way. He nods. Perhaps had we succeeded in conquering with enough time, we would have peeked into one. There are many a demon who have fallen prey to their own curiosity. But... With more important things going, we left that fallow. That is the word, right, for uh, fields. Kind of sick. sounds right. <laughs> so he'll go more to asking about you slash your world slash what it's like in Port Silver, stuff like that. Mm. Well, you know, yeah, I'll give slightly guarded answers. Yep. 
And he'll he'll randomly mention stuff that is like, oh, that sounds weird. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes he'll contrast things. Right, like, oh yes. When we go on fishing trips, we have to have like a ship with an armored hull and the fish jump out and attack us. <laughs> Didn't you say there's something about sea monsters near Port Hill person like that, too? I don't think so. Maybe I'm just getting my wires super crossed from something else. I mean, there's always legends of sea monsters. Yeah. And you'll talk about books as well. Or more, like, ask if you've read any. Do you read? Do you know how to read? Stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I know how to read. Yeah, you very probably do. You're literally a knight. You know? Yeah, I was knight, and I have two in int based skills. No. Um, so what? What's Hadrian's favorite genre? What type of stuff does he read? Uh, well, probably a lot of stuff about nature. So he's got proficiency in it. He's probably like you know, interested in, you know, like biology and uh, creatures in general. And honestly, he's probably interested in the the fucking demon war and stuff like that okay. because of his religion yeah is there any like things that you specifically ask him or should we push the time forwards uh, I think we can push the time forwards I can't think of anything super pressing to ask him that's not like well I mean maybe I would ask him about what he knows about the nature of the miasma because that's another thing that, like, Hadrian isn't completely, like, fucking sold on what the what the crown says about it. Yeah. Roll for me a d20 to represent if he is experimented or what he knows. Okay. So, ask him what he knows about the miasma. He would say, well... I'm not exactly a master of magic from without. Us and the Oni clan are more of magic from within type specialists, you could say. However, I was curious and I dipped my toes, my fingers into the miasma. I think it is some sort of wild magic. So, something must have went terribly wrong. I see. Is it responsible for what's happening to these woods now? Very probably. You can only imagine what Greenlander plants... ...their resilience to magic would be. shrug. I think it depends on the plants. Well, I haven't seen trees like these anywhere else. It says pointing at the barbed trees. Mm -hmm. I think this whole land was coated in it. And what didn't die evolved. Or perhaps was changed might be the right word. I'm not alone. Much like the Titan's blood. Me as a player, I'm familiar with what he means by that, but... No, you as a player are not familiar with what he means no. by well, that. I mean, kind of. Well, I'm familiar with, like, the fucking... The stories, like, Yormagander and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Whatever his name is. Yeah, like, stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you as a player, yeah? You as a character? Yes. No? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I should have specified. Maybe I'd ask him to elaborate on that a little bit. Oh, it makes sense you wouldn't know. It's kind of our religion. Uh, the Titans that were slain, they bled. That's why our land is red. That's why our rivers are red. Their blood filled the land. It was everything red there? Huh? Is it is everything red there? Pretty much. I mean, there's rocks that are dark. There's areas high up that have different colors. Most things are red. 
Yes, the grass is red. The water is red. It makes sense why you'd believe that, though. It's true. And is their blood mixed with Cain's blood, which is why we are so tough. That and our rambunctiousness. Put that in the mental folder somewhere. Alright. I don't have any more questions, so... Or anything. Unless he has any, so... Yeah. Pretty much just passes the time. You know, I mean, he'll ask what your dealings with the dragons are. The, uh, lizard, the gecklings. Well, basically, say, you know, if we're going to be out here, we'd rather not have neighbors who are trying to, uh, attack us, so. Going for them for first. Makes sense. Sometimes they have valuable trinkets and other things. He accepts this answer. So, time will pass. Guys eventually camp. Then in the morning, sort of wave and walk north. Yep. So he's going to go out hunting once again. So yeah, you've gotten a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how does Hadrian feel about this creature? Um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Hadrian's smart enough to obviously know that, like, demons are not a monolith, and there are some of them that will obviously not be, like, a threat to everything, especially this guy says he's a deserter. He's just kind of like, oh, well, this guy's just a guy who's fucking making his way in the world. Yeah. Just adventuring. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I don't think Hadrian like 100% like super trusts everything about him or not like doesn't trust him, but it's more like he is unpredictable, I guess. Yeah. But it's also like, I don't know. He seemed like he very much wore his fucking heart on his sleeve. So I don't think there's anything to super worry about. The only thing that Hadrian's really worried about is like what would happen if this guy like found the settlement. Yeah, what do you take as a challenge? Be like, ooh. Yeah. Was this exactly why I didn't mention anything about it? Yeah. So, untrusting, but not, like, hating. Yeah. Did Hadrian yeah. used to... Stupid. Yeah, does Hadrian hate demons? I don't think so. I think Hadrian is honestly probably interested in them. Yeah. So, they're so yeah. like, I mean, I weird. think that Hadrian doesn't like the fucking, like, little shitters just because they're just, like, annoying and, like, cause chaos for no reason. Yeah. But it's, like, when there's someone who has, like, an alike mind and a like fucking, you know, uh, purpose and stuff like that and viewpoints, then it's kind of like, oh, well, you know. Okay, so Hadrian's not, like, a zealot about it. His hatred of demons, it's just, or annoyance of demons, are just more practical. Yeah. I mean, like, he's heard stories about the war being horrible and, like, the miasma sucked and stuff like that, but it's, like, there's part of Hadrian. Hadrian is not a zealot for this empire. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, like, I think that he... From what I've experienced so far of the people that are high up in this empire, I feel like he feels very much that, like, there's this political machine that it's the, this, their own game that they play, and they don't really care about, like, the little guys that much. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, is how it at least feels to Hadrian. Yeah. So... You know, looking at like the demon war that way, it's very easy to see it as like, especially when ta after talking to this guy, it kind of confirms that it's like high up guys on their on the demon side are doing their political bullshit, high up people on the empire side are doing their political bullshit, and it's the little guys that are caught in the middle. Yeah, just like two countries fighting, basically. Yeah, basically. Cool, interesting. So, uh, do you cast any spells or do any things? Right, at the start uh, of your yeah. day. I mean, yeah. Do I, do I burn my lay on hands pool? Probably. Better than anything else. Cool. Uh, 
Can you roll? Do we? Do you get any healing over the long rest? I can't remember if that's. You have the opportunity to spend another hit die, but okay, then I'll spend another hit die. Bear in mind, it'll take an extended rest to get any back. Yeah, that's fine. Well, there's that. That gets me to exactly half, and I can burn my lay on hands pool. Yep. The second I get it, go back up to full. So describe your trip back, the rest of it back. Oh, uh, well, I'm just going to kind of follow the river, you know. Yep. Go along. All right. Also, yeah, just a slight retcon, but I would told Mr. Bal- Baltrax. Balgrax. What was it? Balgax. Balgax. About the other fucking weird briarwood animals we've seen. Okay. Yeah. And he'll tell you in turn that further to the north is a grassland biome that has like giant creatures big fucking thing okay yeah interesting like there's stuff with like a horn like one horn that's bigger than these boars and there's little creatures that ambush gotcha in the tall grass that uh you need to be careful when using fire because it spreads Hmm. okay all attempts to remember that All right, and you make your way back to the settlement. Hell yeah. Which takes like pretty much the whole day. This has been like two days, basically. I think I want to move back to Nair. I don't know if, I don't know which person would get home first. So. Uh, well, either way, we can, we can hold this moment in perpetuity until we work out what happens with him. Yeah, so I'm dragging him back in. Okay. <laughs> wow, I have two flow bells, Alamea. Really should have given one to Hadrian. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I had I had the biggest flow bell you've ever seen. Yeah, so dude, I forgot fine. we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I will leave and allow you to uh, experience your heroin trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, Aldridge, you okay. are walking through the forest. Look, I'm sorry it took longer than I thought. Oh, it's okay. No, don't worry about it. You're just kind of walking in a randomish direction, just trying to like build distance from the guy. But now, things have calmed down. All right, I gotta get home. Yeah. Are you actually at full HP? No, my token must be bugged. Whatever you're looking at. Okay. So eleven. Okay. Not too terrible. So yeah, what do you do? Like okay. around you are like viney, thorny trees, brambly bushes, grass is blue. It's like a thick balcony which like makes it dark at points. I need to, I need to try and get, I need to find the river and start heading south. Um, so I guess the first thing I would do is try to locate the river. Okay. Yeah. Give me like an intelligence check, I guess, to recall direction. Sure. Okay. Yeah. You can start curving like back towards the south. And time will pass. And after... Uh, hold on. While I'm doing so, I don't know how much time like might be left in the day, but I do want to be sort of keeping an eye out for a, a good place to lie low. Okay. You probably have like four hours of travel, I think, maybe. Maybe actually like three hours of travel left or so. Yeah. I think if I find the perfect place in one hour, then I'm going to stay there. Okay. I'm just keeping my eyes out for yeah. that looks good. Increasing my chances. Yeah, makes sense to me. Keep that in mind. So you soon-ish locate the river for like 20, 30 minutes or so. And right. begin following it. 
I would try and stay uh, within the tree line as I follow the river. Yep. So sometimes you'll lose sight of the river, but hear it. Sometimes you will pop out a little bit and see the river. But for the most part, you are keeping just barely, like, seeing it. Right. Right. And you're just, like, walking. Like, your robes are all fucked. Cut. Bruised. Is your spellbook in, like, your backpack? Or... Do you yeah, hold that? Or, like, the, the... The spellbook holster, you know? Yeah. You're just making a clip. A little bit of time will advance. And you will find a decent-ish place to rest. Right. Do you stay there, or do you continue? I'll stay. If I find somewhere that I think is advantageous for me, it's like rather naturally stealthy. Yeah, it's like a nook. Yeah, I'll take it and just rest for the night. Yep. Do you have something that can light a fire? Or are you even going to try to light a fire? I'm not going to be lighting a fire, no. Okay. How cold does it get at night? Do I know? It's uh, spring, so it can get pretty chilly. Well, I've got a big robe. And, um, yeah, it's got holes in it, but... I'm sure my nook will offer me some, like, wind coverage or whatever. Do you have a bedroll? I do. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you can work something out, probably. So you spend, like, an hour or so, or two resting. You get your short rest off. How many hit dice do you have left? Do you want to spend one? Oh, absolutely. I have plenty. That's not good. Not a great one. Slightly below average. You heal a little bit. Alright. And give me a perception check. Oh god. Okay. As, as soon as I've decided to um, sit for the night, I think the flow bell lasts forever. It lasts eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah. Uh, and I suppose I'll just use it before I decide to sleep. Okay. You start, like, getting closer-ish to sleep when you hear noises in the distance. But not too distant, because you only rolled six on your perception, unfortunately. Probably within a couple hundred feet, maybe. Maybe less, maybe 100 feet, you hear plodding footsteps and chatter between oh God. not just one creature but many creatures it seems like they're moving at a slow pace but not being overly stealthy what do you do Oh, hiding is such a risk, but staying in itself might be a risk. Right, that's the same thing. Running might be a risk. Yeah, so in Aldrich's brain, you've got like two ideas, right? Well, I mean, you can explain me, actually. Don't let me say what your yeah. character What do you think's going on? I think that he's fucking exhausted. He ran and ran. I think he's going to choose the stealth. Okay. So you hide in the nook. And you will see sort of at the opposite end of the clearing that this nook is in. Right. It's like the... You remember the bandit camp? Right. The one from two sessions ago. Oh, it's like hidden in a nook, but and there isn't like trees in the nook, but there's trees around the nook, right? 
right. sort of on the opposite-ish end of the nook, you can see a couple gecklings like emerge okay. and they are okay. looking at the ground and heading in your direction. Oh. I guess I better run. <laughs> Shit. I figured, um, I mean, I forgot about uh, tracks. Shit. All right, well, it's time to run. All right. So you get up. Do you grab your bedroll? Do you take that extra moment? Absolutely. Now you yoink up the bedroll. Grab the bedroll. And the gecklings. Well, Perhaps sort I of. I can try and, like, get away stealthily. Yeah, give me a stealth. Okay. Yeah, that'll be that'll that'll do it. Well, they need to roll their perceptions as well. So you are passing in front of them, but there is a chance because they are, you know, looking at the ground. Yeah, exactly. Tracking. So two perceptions, one for each of them. Luckily, they're not proficient. Okay. Well, I was lucky. Yeah. Time to never forget that I leave tracks. Yep. So you get through the clearing and climb up be... the other side of the thing and begin moving. So are you going to be moving at half speed as well? Then? Yeah, I'll move. I'll move stealthily and try and like cover my tracks as I go. So you'll be moving at one third speed then. Oh. Shit. Well, I don't. Because we're talking about like laying low, moving quietly, and also it's taking the time to like dust your footprints for, off. Right. For the time being. I want to hide them just for just for like fucking five, ten minutes or something. Okay. Uh, just in order to throw them off. Yeah, give me a survival to get all of your tracks. Okay. I think you've done a pretty good job after like five or ten minutes. One thing that's a little bit disconcerting is like you're moving and moving, right? And you can as this time is advancing because you're being quiet and you're moving you can kind of get the vibe that there's like three groups of these creatures <laughs> and they're like fanned out and they're communicating with each other and like the one there's like one that you think is tracking you but the other ones are around and they're also looking for tracks and shit and as you progress, they're just like keeping their distance. Now, is this intentional or are they just like slowly following the tracks? Probably the latter. You were very stealthy, right? Yeah. But it def it's not a good feeling knowing that six of these motherfuckers are on your tail. What do you do after the 10 minutes? So. I'll begin to move faster. Um. I'll move at a half speed and maintain myself. Okay. So I'll just... So time passes, 10, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and their distance relative to you doesn't really change. So what time is it? Like, what, at what point am I going to begin, like, getting exhaustion? How much? You've still got, like, an hour or two in you, you think. But your legs are burning, are feeling a little bit... It's, like, tired, but not tired. Just, like, hopped up on adrenaline, you know? Okay. As I move, I'm going to begin to scour the forest floors for something. I, I'm thinking... I want to find... A large branch 
preferably somewhat hollow. That would yeah. age. Something that would appear to be very buoyant. All right. Uh, yeah, give me a luck check. Sure. Now it's for finding a branch in the forest, so, you know. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, you can find a large, buoyant, dead branch. Okay. My next step. So picking it up, right? This is a big branch. So if you pick it up, it will make noise, for the record. This should have been my first step before I will touch this fucking thing. I need to lay eyes on the river and judge this and try and judge the speed at which the current is going. Uh, yeah, you could have done this, or you've been traveling looking at yeah, the river yeah. often. So we'll it's not too fast. Not too fast. It's like a gentle, powerful current. Okay. Then here's my plan. I'm going to pick up this branch, sort of large branch. And the moment I do, I'll begin to sprint. I will run for not as long as I can necessarily, but perhaps like 30 minutes of my remaining time. I'll just run until I feel I've gotten a decent distance, and then I will hop in the river with my branch. Okay. And so you pick up the pace. You begin sprinting. I'm going to give these guys some perception checks. See if they hear. It's a pretty low DC, but they're, you're also far away. So how low can it be? Right. How low can you go? How low can you go? Can you go down low? So now the big guy. Let's see. Yep. Pretty much like as you grab it and start moving. You know, you hear the sh, sh, sh you know, of your own branch, right? Own big, thick, brambly branch. You can hear shouting in the distance from one of them. Oh, coca cotra! Right. It could just be a deer, you fucks. <laughs> the way he rolled pretty fucking high. He, they begin moving. At least his group does. Maybe the tracking group continues I'm to hopeful. track. I'm moving and hope, hopefully faster. Yep. And so, the chase begins. You can hear... <laughs> no! Some dudes chasing you. The chase has been ongoing this whole time. I'm sorry to say. All it's right, just I been slow later. chasing. I don't want to fucking leave Veth alone forever. Let's try and... Huh? Look, I don't want to leave Veth alone forever. <laughs> Veth's been le left you alone for 40 minutes, so it's okay. You run, and you jump towards the river. Right. I need to adjudicate. Can you give me, like, a con check to see how good you ran? Or an athletics? I'll accept either. Yeah, you ran very fast. Off speed. Yep. I unleashed everything. All the adrenaline just built up for this moment. I won't let them take me. Yep. As you run towards the river, you encounter something that catches you completely off guard. You, like, run... You know the river's just like around this bend, right, through this thicket of trees. And you step through, and you see that there is a dude standing on a boat who seems to be playing a flute. Even though you didn't hear it just a moment ago because you're so focused on the running. And looking around you, things are kind of misty. Mm. 
and the man uh, I should describe him. He's got like fancy clothes and long silver hair. It's like in a ponytail, you know. He's on like a fancy boat as well. Clothes are like gold lined. T glances over and I'm says towards him with this big ass branch. Well. He'll, like, put his hand up when you get nearish the river edge, right? The last, like, 20 feet or so. Do you jump in before you can say anything, or what? Um. I'll just, I'll kind of, when I'm close enough to not be yelling, you know? Uh, I suppose. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. He stops playing and uh, can see like a small smile on his face. He says, Hello. I, Lord Alabaster, Extend my salutations to the little traveler who flees from danger. Do I know that name? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> like, that's not even like, people are names like names and that sounds like some other shit. Gotcha. It's not like Visborg or whatever. Right. I'll respond. I'm being chased by Gleck Gecklings. May I board? You are very eager. You are safe for now. You have a moment to consider things. Calm yourself. I've deigned most generously to offer you a proposition in your time of need, traveler. I happen to be heading down this river towards the lands of your kin, and I'm willing to offer you safe passage aboard my boat. In exchange for what? Well, of course there would be a minor price for the service. One that pales dearly to what you might face should you refuse. Quickly now. What is it? Do not rush me. You are safe here. Look around you. Do you hear them? Mind your tongue, mage. And, you know, looking around, you do not hear any, like, sounds in the forest at all. I merely. Continue, then. I will. <laughs> I merely desire the opportunity. He pauses. If the price does not concern you, you could just accept right now. For the record. No, it surely does. Then, of course, I merely desire the opportunity to borrow your body for a few brief periods of my choosing so that I may experience what it's like to be mortal again. I would vow, of course, uh, to do Aldrich this only... Huh? Aldris jumps in the river. Alright, you jump into the river. But there is no current in the river. So uh, you're just sitting there, awkwardly. Time to swim. <laughs> Come, come. I guess I'll just fucking get up on the other side of it and just... Listen to my my offer first, you impetuant fool. I would vow to do this only at times when you're otherwise unconscious and no harm to your being will come from my jaunts, nor will I choose times where your lack of presence may danger, bring danger to you or anyone you care for. Listen, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. I'm just... If 
fine. Um, says. That is truly not the time for such dealings, anywho. And I'm not some. I'd recommend you ask uh, the peasantry. He merely I'm not a... blows his flute, is. and so the image around you fades, and you are in the river. And you can see the gacklings emerging from the forest on the other side of the river. This motherfucker wasted all my I did fucking like just go god damn it wasted my time <laughs> just start fucking running yep you begin running into the forest on the opposite side of the river and you can hear the crash of water as the guys chase you looking back you feel like you can see his silhouette somehow just playing in the shadows and you begin traveling Yep. And now you're being chased. You have a small head start. What do you do next? You know you've probably got only an hour in you. Um. Well, I'm not sure uh, what I could do to to make an attempt at losing them. Um, perhaps I can just try and expend my energy and outrun them. Uh, I did make a great con check earlier. That's true. Uh, I guess same, like new plan, same as the old. I'll just run until I'm exhausted and then jump in the river and let it carry me. Okay. And so you do. Time will advance. And you'll get close to the end of your rope. The creatures... Uh, give me one more con check. See if maybe you would build some distance. Okay. It's pretty terrible. But they probably also could roll terribly. Yep, yeah, you hop into the river. You can see them, like, following along. You swim to the middle of the river. And they give chase. What do you do next? Well, there's... I mean, I, um... Are they catching up? Does the, does the river appear to be sort of outpacing them, because if so, I will always win this battle. Well, the river was maybe outpacing them initially, but they jump into the river, and they'd be employing <laughs> the same plan as you. <laughs> we can go all the way till we're home, motherfuckers. Well, they begin swimming so that they can catch up. Ah. Well, I suppose if they're gaining on me, I have no choice but to, um, you know, go faster. Cool. Uh, I suppose I would begin swimming as well. Or I'll just, like, be fucking holding on to the branch and kicking my feet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And time will pass this way. You have the advantage on them because they don't have anything buoyant. It's just merely that an hour passes and you start taking on like levels of exhaustion, right? But it's the shitty tiny exhaustion. A problem occurs, or maybe not a problem. You see as you're swimming down the river that there is three logs that have been placed over the river. Not blocking it, but as like a path over it, which are pretty low to the river. You could probably just like dunk your head under, but that is a change in circumstances. Right. So, so you think they would, um, 
they like potentially block my path. Can't just go under them. You have an opportunity to interact with them. Otherwise, you can just pass oh. under them. I suppose. Um, okay, looking at it from a distance, how are they suspended above the water? They're just merely... It looks like logs have been kicked over the river, right? So, or placed maybe. So it's just gravity that holds the log in. It's touching dirt on both sides. Uh, on the walls of this like river or on the, um, or I guess it would be the walls if it's acting like a bridge. Yeah. Or is it just over top? It's like on the walls of the river. Okay. In that case, I will use these. As so as Aldrich like is kicking his way, he begins passing under them. Yeah. Pulls out the wand of magic missiles. Says, Thank you, Father. He uses the last charge to fucking and he targets like right at the bottom of the far like left side of a, of one of them to knock it up so that it'll fall. Yeah. And also, so I guess we'll attempt to knock it out of place with a charge of uh, the wand. One or two charges. I have only one. Oh, That's yeah. Why there's the dramatic <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you were going to go supernova with it. I didn't realize there was only the one. Yep, you activate the wand. The missiles stream out and indeed hit the log. The log does indeed bounce up a little bit and roll into the river. And you can hear the gecklings loudly complaining as they get stuck on the other side of the log, giving you some breathing room. Woo! As you float further down the river. All right, well, I'll continue to float. I'll yeah. paddle a little, you know? You paddle for some time. You're now at two levels of exhaustion. Alright, at that point, if I've, like, after some time passes, if they're, if I don't hear them or, like, see them anywhere, I'm gonna get out of the river on the, uh, to my right, you know, so I'm on the right side of it. Uh, yes, on the north or southern side. Um... Which direction is this river? Tra it's, it's traveling east to west? Um, so, you guys, the fortress is on the southern side of the river, right? It is traveling east west or west east, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I just want to get out on the side that the settlement's on. Okay. The south? Uh, that's. Intelligence check? I'm pretty sure it's the south. If I if I was on the other side of it, which is, you know, this a side like I had to cross the river once. You know what I mean? I crossed the river to get away from dudes. I know that I've yeah. crossed the river before. So the river will take you to a settlement which has a bridge that you guys have been using. Right? So either one will lead you there. You think the northern side would be a little bit longer and the southern side would be a little bit shorter. But that's pretty much the only difference. Yeah. I'll be going southern then. It is the side that our settlement exists on, right? Yes, that is true. Yeah. I will get up on the southern side. I'll try to very briefly hide any tracks that are going to lead into the forest and then I'll get into the forest. All right. You do so. Here is a survival check for that. Okay. Sweet. Then what do you do next? Um, it's time to find somewhere to... I guess while trying to hide my tracks, I'll try and find somewhere to rest. You mean perception check? Or I guess a luck check? Maybe? You can pick. 
yeah, as stealthy as possible. Okay, you find another nook, similar to the first nook, not too far away. To hide tracks leading up to it, to the best of my ability. All right, you do so. I'm gonna waste no time. I like I get get in my little nook, pull out my bedroll, going to activate my float bell and try to go to sleep. Okay. Sleep easily takes you. Because, you know. Exhaustion. Exhaustion, yeah. And you sleep for a little while. In the middle of the night, though, you were awakened by noise. From the bell? No, thankfully not. From more chattering of the the gecklings and like peeking around you can see that there are groups of torches now <laughs> and you think Dude. there's five of them now or maybe it's just five individual ones and they're spread out more but they are like canvassing the area Well, I'm gonna stay where I am, try and be silent, and I'll make a stealth check. If I no. Well, it's it's a survival check. It's whether or not the one passing by the spot in the river will be able to spy your tracks. All right. You would like a new one? No, it's the same ten. It's DC ten. Cool. I'll go public with this one. Crossing fingers. I will probably fucking die. They pass by. <laughs> oh, shit. And their canvassing goes a little bit like further south and eventually you, you lose sight of the torches. Back to sleep. All right. You sleep. And you wake up as a new dawn. Okay. Um, I only have one level of exhaustion now. Yes. Uh, can I expend hit dice? Sure. All of them? You can expend one hit die unless you have medicine proficiency, in which case you can expend two. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. That's enough HP for me. I get 21. So I'm going to spend uh, a lot of time here preparing spells. All right. What order do you prep the spells in? Oh, like which I start with? Yep. Uh, I'm going to start with shield first and foremost, and then when I'm done with it, I'll immediately use it if possible. Okay. That's easily done. You get shield off. And then I will, boom, I have a ward now. Just minus one spell slot for the day. Poggers. Uh, my next spell will be, I'll prepare a Scorching Ray. All right. It's another 20 minutes past. All right, and then another Scorching Ray. Awesome, that's another 20 minutes. What next? And then two copies of Burning Hands. So, partway through the first copy of the Burning Hands, begin hearing noises of a patrol of creatures heading in your direction, this time from the south going north. Am I well hidden where I am? Like, am I, like, or am I out in an open area? Oh, you're still in that nook, right? Yeah, so is the nook like they have to like travel within the nook to see you so there's a small chance that they might literally pass over the nook otherwise there's a small chance that they'll find your tracks but other than that you are hidden well perhaps it's time to get moving 
I can just begin. Um, I'll try and stealthfully move away, uh, heading towards the settlement. There in the direction of the settlement. Oh, then perhaps I'll take a roundabout path. Okay. Cool. I'll like I'll first move north and then circle around. Well, the river's to the north, but you, I get your picture. You move south and then go around. Right. Yeah. Okay. Give me your stealth. You successfully go around. And you return to the river. Time will pass. And you continue your check. And we can fast forward a little bit. You will be kind of hounded by these creatures even further as they pick up your trail again at some point and close a bit of the gap. But eventually you make it back to the settlement. Oh my god. Can I make one small change? Yeah. This is it's totally fine. If not, I can just I'm at the settlement. I can prepare this and I can prepare this now. I can want I should do I have a piece of fucking blessed leather. I could do my mage armor instead of fucking shielding. Yeah, you could wreck on that end. That's fine. Excellent. Alright. You arrive second, I think. Alright. So, Adrian, hey, Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> yeah, you're in the settlement and you've been here for a little while. Jabifo! <laughs> what? You're shouting. Yeah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> By a little bit, do you mean like an hour or like a day? Uh, one to four hours. Okay, that's not that bad. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Is Jabifel all right? Uh, Jabifel's not back yet, is he? Nope. Uh-oh. There's tons of them out there. Tons I've, of what? I spotted multiple groups of Gecklings. They were tracking me. Hmm. They're going they to followed? find... They're going to find the settlement. <sighs> they're not far behind me. To deal with them. We need to ready... Everyone, uh, the okay. the fucking um, what's his name? Or, uh, by everyone, really. I just mean we need to get uh, Archibald's men. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go fucking talk to Archibald quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Archibald, it's doing stuff. You know, like yeah. managing the construction of the makeshift blacksmith. Uh -huh. When you guys like approach, and we got a fucking problem. Hello, uh, <laughs> dear God, what's happened to you, Hadrian? There's no hey, time. Look, I, I look fine now. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> well, your clothes fucked. Yeah, and yeah. you have no armor. <laughs> Aldrich. Look, there's a lot of gecklings coming. What? We were unsuccessful in defeating. The gecklings inhabiting the, uh, the demon's fort. Oh, no. They gathered more of them. They've been tracking me. <laughs> They're right pissed off, they are. Could you have gone around or something, Aldridge? They were on my heels. I traveled for two days. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I... I'll talk to the knights. There's nothing else to be done if they're truly on your heels. Wouldn't happen to be an extra set of armor just sitting around somewhere over there. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. That shit's expensive. Yeah. Well, not even the big lads. No, they're they're like a uh, they're big lads. I meant the Esterman. But, uh... Yeah, I know they're big lads. They <laughs> they have their own set of equipment. Nothing else. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we should rally a few of them. Th perhaps there's some estermen working in the fishing hut. We'll <laughs> notify them. If 
fishing hut would probably be around where I entered town, right? So yeah. I'm expecting them to come along the riverbank where I was wrecking. Yeah, you can find them. They're fishing. And I'd explain. <laughs> oh, hands on deck! <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd quickly explain that uh, I've been followed home. Yeah, and they'll immediately like grab spears, stuff, Hell get yeah. ready. All right, so we begin to rally and wait for them. Well, I guess I'll have 12 AC. Yeah, true. You still have your shield, right? Yep. That I do. <laughs> uh, where do you rally? Like, where is your force? Um, I think we should go towards them. Um, like, the, the further away we engage them from our settlement, the better, I think. Yeah, yeah. and are you going to bring... Going up this way. Are you going to bring commoners with spears or just estermen with spears? Well, I don't know how just, many. Just yeah. estermen and no knights. Commoners. Okay. Uh, and so we would basically, we would be like um, on the northern following, tip. We'd be following my tracks back uh, until we run into them. Yeah. And uh, you will sort of run into them. The uh, there's like seven astromen and. Two knights and Hadrian and Aldrich. You guys follow the path back and you'll eventually like make contact. Like you'll hear them, but they quickly like turn course. And they. Now we're going after them. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is too difficult to catch up to them with your force and they will disappear into the forest they scatter they are used to the forest and the estermen are like well we could split up and go after them the ant uh what's the player's response to that how big was the force it was probably like half a dozen maybe that's not that bad for you yeah it's not that bad yeah I don't think even if the estimate are like level one that's not that good well how far would you chase them as well well not very far I don't think like would you run after them for hours away from your settlement Mm -mm. Nah. Hell no. We just got back. <laughs> okay. Then yeah, you would like they would use their action dash. You guys would use your action dash, but you're trying to keep a group. They are forest there. creatures. Yeah. So the gap increases until you no longer hear them. Right, enough. Let's head back. We'll have to deal with these creatures. I saw many groups of them. Uh, some small numbers, some with just two or three of them, some with five. There's many of them out there. They'll need to be dealt with. Right, we need to be careful. All right. We'll have the settlement on high alert again. So your turn is sort of empty handed. And the yep. deuters ask you like what you saw, basically. A group of gecklings. There was a giant one, the likes of which you've never seen. The thing's skin was th perhaps two inches thick. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> Don't know, I couldn't pierce it with my blade. And they are impressed and horrified. <laughs> that was outside our town. 
Oh, don't There's be too worried. Scatlings. We managed to dispatch the vast majority of his minions uh, that were housed um, in that old fort. And we'll be dealing with it. Okay, they're mildly reassured. Well, we should put the men back on high alert. So you do. Live. If I might make a suggestion, mm -hmm. this might be a little expensive. It might be a necessary and temporary measure. Perhaps we should send a couple of men south to the fort with some gold. They can hire a few guardsmen. I was thinking that I will need to get new armor as well. Perhaps they could fetch that too. I think it's wise we stay here and protect the fort in case, in the time being, in case they come back. We can have them travel with a, a number of Vestamen for protection. A nod. Keep I'm an sure eye out for Jabifel as well. It'll be easy enough to convince them. Yeah, they're definitely eager to go get help. Yeah. How much gold do you send, and what exactly are their orders? So, if I recall correctly, the price of a guard is what? Like five? Is it five? No, is it like two? It's two, two gold pieces. per day. Yeah. Then perhaps an advance of like tw just 20 GP for each guard. And like instructions to tell them. Um, like offering like you know, 10 days of uh, guarding our settlement uh, may be extended uh, and you will be compensated for your time, if so. Mm, uh, and then the bailiff might have instructions for them regarding armor. That shit yeah. has to be fitted to you, doesn't it? Yeah, well, look, we can get my fucking measurements and write it down and send it with them. <laughs> yeah, you ought to know your measurements. Yeah. And just kind of, I don't know, what's it called? I think the armor I had before was scale mail. How much does that cost? Two or three hundred. It was, oh, wait, was, was it splint, splint mail? It was whatever the second highest one is. Yeah, yeah splint. Scale mail is medium armor. I always get fucking mixed up. Gotcha. I was thinking of fucking splint. Yeah. Uh, it would be kind of hard to fit oh, just measurements, oh, I think. Here's the thing, is it can fit kind of poorly for the time yeah. being, and I'll go get it fitted, like, well later on. Well, the thought occurs to you as an experienced warrior. No, actually, never mind. I shouldn't backseat. You can get your poorly fitting armor. It will cost two times as much in Fort Huntsman, though, for the record. Ugh. Maybe we just need something to tide me over then. Tell them to bring back some blessed leather. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> I need some anyways. Was it 25 or 50 gold apiece? 25 at Fort Huntsman. It's normally cheaper. I can get chainmail. <laughs> Look, I think we should just fucking mage armor your ass. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean that is only down by one AC, but I can't I can use a shield with chainmail. That is true. Yeah. Don't need to measure with chainmail. It's mail. only seventy yeah, you don't need to measure chainmail. It only costs seventy five gold pieces, so that's still double, but that's like a lot cheaper. Yeah, considerably so. Yeah. I'm thinking chainmail and they probably have chainmail and a lot like better supply there too. Alright. Yep, that's the plan. Get him to go get me some chain mail. Yeah, so we can advance the clock then. Your dudes do that. Is there anything else you give them? My blessing. <laughs> yeah, correct. Matt orders wise. Um, 
If not, that's fine. No. Buy a lot of shit. Yeah. How many guards? We can send them with like three or four estermen. No, I mean, are you hiring yeah. from? Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I don't know, like three or four. Okay, so four guards or three guards. I mean, if it's three guards, it's 60 gold. If that's four, that's 80 gold, right? If it's 20 gold advance for each. I think, I think I'm okay with three guards. Yeah, that feels fine. Yeah, three guards plus two knights versus like six gecklings potentially. I but then also Esterman and other villagers as well. I've subtra subtracted the money from the coffers. 60 gold. Well, and uh, uh, 140 for fucking... 150, right? Yeah. 150 is is chainmail... Oh, yeah, so I guess it would be 150. Okay. Or you can spend 25 for 15 AC. Okay. But I can't use a shield. Yeah. We'll subtract 150. Well, I had I, I grabbed a bunch of fucking coins. We can sort that out later. Well, yeah. Um, during the session, we can probably acquire those chests. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do the calculating of the coins once chests have been grabbed. All right. Well, keep in mind, 60 is out of there. Guards are paid. Aldrich finds some time to prepare, uh, to prepare the rest of his spells. Alright. Are you still hurt, or are you fucking fine? I am a little bit hurt, and I'm missing four health. Okay, well, I don't really want to burn a fucking... Five. Uh, I'm missing five. Yeah, I don't want to burn a fucking cure wounds on that, but... Paladin juice? I used all my paladin juice myself. Oh. Okay, yeah. Well, don't worry about it. It's fine. I have fucking a total of, um... Oh, wait. Um... 20, 33 health right now. That is a lot. So, time will advance. Your dudes leave with the cash hold How do you guys spend the day? Um, probably like so what happened with you? Fucking ready. <laughs> uh, well, I met a very friendly demon. Silver haired. No, he, had, he was big red, had horns, called himself an Oni. Oh. I met a being as well. I assumed he was a demon, of some kind. He called himself um, Lord Alabaster. Lord Alabaster. Hmm. Kind of shrug. Well, it's crazy. I ran into him while I was um. It goes like this. I'd found a little nook to camp in. Uh, it. It looked like it was safe enough. I had just um, lost the uh, the big fucking guy, uh, and I was heading. Um, you know, I was traveling towards the settlement. Saw the nook, decided it was good a place as I need to stay for the night. I managed to rest there for maybe an hour or so uh, before they got close, a little too close, so I scurried away. And when I made it back to the river. Uh, the strange mist appeared, and the silver-haired man was reading a book in his boat. He was singing, he was using a flute. Oh, he was He's playing singing, a flute. He was singing, using a flute. Let me retell it <laughs> the way I want to. Okay, I apologize. He was reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anywho, the guy fucking, he was like, I'll let you on my boat. I'll help you out in this dangerous situation you're in. 
In exchange, all you've got to do... Wait, pause. You sure you don't want to say yes before you hear what you got to do? That's literally what he was saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no. So he tells me, he just wants to control my body. He just wants to feel what it's like to be immortal again. And so when he began to say that, I jumped in the water. Because uh, my plan was to... I was exhausted. I needed uh -huh. to use the river to get away. Uh -huh. Is that it? I mean, that's the exciting bits. The rest okay. of it was just running away from them, hiding my tracks, and then them coming and finding me again. Yeah, well, it sounded uh, like yours was a lot scarier than my way back. Yes, they were constantly on my heels. I was Sounds never like safe. really pissed them off. Um, the... I managed to finally get away from them. Um, I had gotten a rest off. I had managed to sleep through the night in this little, another nook that I had found. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a little while in the morning uh, of preparing some spells, they found me. They happened upon my nook and uh, I was forced to run away. I once again, I once again jumped in the river uh, and uh, I happened upon these logs that were suspended uh, just wa uh, just on the walls of the of the river uh, as a well, bridge. Yeah, well, that's where I met the uh, the Oni. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that I destroyed it. Uh, I don't think you. I don't think you'll mind that much. <laughs> the Gecklings had jumped in the fucking river. They were swimming after me. So I... <laughs> I knock down a log to to block them. I used my the last charge of my father's wand to do so. I need to write him. He's, he's safe. Sounds like it saved your life, yeah. yeah. So nothing exciting other than that demon? <laughs> a shrug, not really. Hope your beefles all right. Yes, it's quite worrisome. Though he's likely to fare better out there than either of you, or either you or I would. He should be back soon, then. Right. Took us this long. He should be back soon. Well, he's probably smarter than me in the manners of the wild. He might be taking time to hide all his tracks. Perhaps. But, uh... <coughs> knowledge you can only do so much against about getting unlucky but it does sound like the most of these gecklings chased you so perhaps I, that means they didn't go after him i do think that large geckling is dreaming of me he's just fuming i am fucking fuming he might not stop until he has my head that's why we need to take his first I'm sorry for having led them here. Well, between that or finding a new archmage for the settlement, I'll take what <laughs> the situation we're in right now. I appreciate it. All right, I need to go prepare my spells. I only managed to get a burning hands and two scorching rays. Want to be prepared in case they come. Unfortunately, you can't prepare spells after the one window. Oh, really? Pretty sure it says you gotta immediately after do it. I see. It's not just like you have preparation juice available. No. It's because in the morning your brain is all fresh and ready to receive the spells. I don't know about you guys, but that is not the case for me in real life. Could it's because you don't or... sleep good enough. No. Yeah. I think I'm just not a morning person. Yep. Well, either way, though, time will advance. You don't get attacked this day. All right. And Beeple news. In the next day or two, Beeple will eventually, like, come from. Uh, it's actually fifty-fifty, which time, which location he comes from. So I'm gonna roll. He comes from the south. All the way around. 
I'll, I'll see if he has any wounds to tend to him. Yeah, he's got like a bunch of minor wounds, yeah. including to, like a bite wound. <laughs> a bite wound? What the hell? That's new. Yeah, it says, yeah, funny story. Uh, <laughs> those fucking birds attacked me and I had to climb a tree. One of them got me in the thigh. So I was doing it. <laughs> well, we're glad I'm very you're glad you're right. back safe. Yeah. Then I ran into a whole fucking camp of gecklings. To the Delvers. And I had to run. Yeah. Went all the way down south to where like Four Huntsman was. Well, not all the way down, but I caught a patrol. Oh, I thought I was fucked. I thought that was another patrol of them lizards. Come, come now. Come now, Jabeeful. Let's go, um... I think we have some ale still. I appreciate that. We are planning a counterattack against them soon. Yeah, I would, um... I would regale my tail once again. As I told the Hadrian to Jabeeful. Right. Roll nature for the people. He just goes like you're fucking. You're like, yeah, oh, I just want to experience a mortal body again, and then you're like, all right, I'm jumping in the river. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll a what? Nature check for Jabeeful. Oh, can I roll a nature check? If you're proficient in nature. I, I am. Yeah, you both can roll. Beefle is proficient in nature, right? He is. Sure. He says, You encountered a forest lord? Wasn't that the bandit that we, king that we ran across? No, that's. It's just a dude. <laughs> we had a. Not the same thing. Call himself the forest king or something like that? Yeah. Look, that's just bandits. Bandits will call themselves all manner of names. Okay, Hadrian. Can't go believing everyone who calls himself king. However, uh, yeah, that's a forest lord. It's um, it's a type of spirit of nature. Huh. So are you saying that he should have taken this offer? Well, I mean... That's a very difficult question to answer because I've only heard stories of their like mischievous nature and stuff like that. So you're saying he shouldn't have taken the offer, he did the right thing. Well, I mean if he died to Gecklings, got like skinned alive, that would have been probably worse than whatever the Forest Lord had in mind. Uh I, I had faith in my abilities. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, well that's good. Cause it probably would have just been like a like an inconvenience that you'd had to dealt with or something. You've you threaded the needle there, Eldridge. Now I personally would probably just accept it the bargain, but because I'm not very confident, I'm sorry to say. You must have more faith in yourself. You've gotten us out of... Or in... We've been in pickles. Well, here's the thing, Aldrich. He takes a swig of ale. <laughs> I think you have too much faith. <laughs> There's times where you gotta... Gotta take life ropes. Not endanger yourself greatly. I knew that fort was dangerous. I said we should turn back. We almost all got killed. That is the work. Of course, we would have to deal with these gecklings sooner or later. That's true. It's a cruel world. Full terrible beasties. Yeah. Now we understand, have a better idea of what we're dealing with. We've already sent for help. We're hiring a few guards and um He nods. What? Adrian. Hmm? We should have asked for Lady Miriam. 
Yeah, well, you know, we can probably handle it. She well, didn't seem all that uh, sure. receptive to the last thing. I'm sure she probably thinks Gecklings are beneath her. Man, what isn't beneath her? It's kind of fucked up. It's kind of like make a face and point towards to people. I'm sorry. No, no, not that I'm saying like, oh, don't say that. I'm saying like he's he's right. Maybe a dragon or something. Or one of She's a fine fighter, but I don't think she's that fine of a fighter. Those crazy holes in the ground, maybe. Well, Chibifel, when you've uh, when you've sobered up, would you mind doing the rounds? I just searching our perimeter. Yeah, of course. I'll lend my expertise. It's what I'm getting paid for. I'll uh. I'll gladly accompany you. I appreciate that, Aldrich. I'm sorry, that, um, I know, I know that was grave. I'm sorry you had to experience that. No, no, I think you're right. We would have had to find him at some point. My big brother always says, "Can't." Can't avoid all problems. Just creates more problems. Do you have? Do you have it? Then you have no reservations about tackling this problem. Well, I mean, I didn't really until you said that we should have hired Lady Marianne. So that's like my one re reservation. Is hiring her or not hiring her? Well, you know, idea of having like a. A powerful woman with a big sword. Kind of like you make an eyebrow to that. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, as opposed to not having one. But it's too late now. I already sent the dudes out, right? I'm sure, the guards will do just fine. If we are successful, our settlement will be better off without her help. It'll be a little more wealthy. We don't want to be the boy who cried wolf with her. Ally as powerful as her. Yeah, that's fair enough. I understand your reasoning. So, All right, Jabifel. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Jabifel will do his rounds. He'll ask about your guys' experiences, what happened to you. Which we don't have to, like, relitigate word by word. Is there anything you'd ask Jabifel or talk to him about, or can we advance time until the dudes come back? I think we can advance time. You can advance time. All right. Time will come. Three guards will come. As well as Hadrian's suit of chainmail. Yeah, baby! Welcome back. Back up to ACB. Yep. Back up to 18 AC. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, if a day's passed, I'm yep. going to do my spell prep. Yep, one to two days have passed. Probably, like, at least two days, because it's like a like a three-day trip or something. 2.5-day trip, too, for Huntsman and back. So a decent chunk of time passes. 
Not enough to get an extended rest off. Alright. And you don't get harassed. Hell yeah. What does the party do next? Prepare for war. It's time to head back out there. Yeah. We'll take out any camps we run into along the way. Our goal is to destroy the leader residing in the demon fort. Okay. And the guardsmen are just going to like watch the settlement while it's going on? I'd like to bring perhaps... Well, I'd like to muse about perhaps bringing one or two of them with us. Musing to Hadrian or musing to them? To Hadrian. <laughs> Not to them. They're getting paid. They'll do whatever <laughs> the fuck. Or maybe they they might have, some of them might have objections to like, um, no, I was told to come guard a town, not go fight lizards in the forest. Uh, so then in that case, you know, it would just be, whoever is willing to come will pay you an extra gold per day. What does Hadron say? Uh, Do you I'm think sure. we should take a couple of them? If they're as many as you fucking said, then yeah. There's just three of them. Well, no, I meant the lizard people. Right, well, I, I'm certain I saw three separate groups. It's possible that the the three groups had merged um, and became the larger group of five that I saw later. Uh, at the very least, I'm certain there, there will be more. <laughs> It seems like the leader um, is getting more men. More gecklings. I think it would be wise. Have a few more uh, bows on our side. Yeah. We might want to leave at least two of the guardsmen in the town in case they, like, go around us. While we're out. Yeah. We'll just take one and Jabifel. Do what you guys did to their demon fort. Yeah, exactly. Okay, one and Jabifel. So... This guy. Where? Down here. Oh yeah, we definitely want the archer, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I believe, yeah. A melee dude is way too like liable to die. Sort of true. Defending a place, though. <laughs> the melee dudes are more sturdy, but being in melee has its risks. The archer has range attack, so it'll be the archer. <laughs> I mean, shit. Perhaps a melee dude supports our party better. We are already a composition yeah, two of range one melee. Yeah, I'd say get another melee guy, actually. Leave one ranged one melee back here. All right. Let's do All right. It. That so. way. Melee dude acquired. Naked. So, you could roll... Let's see, I think there's like 36-ish guards in for a huntsman. So you could roll a d36, and if it's one... Or two, it's someone that you know. Oops. Yeah, that doesn't count. So it didn't. No, it's just some random, random dude. Oh, thank you. Sag. You may have seen their face, but never talked to them. Let's head out. 
Yeah, let's get this show on the road. So the party travels. You guys head up north along the river, right? Mm hmm. Follow it past the other settlement, the old settlement, you know, they've been through many a time. And pass ever, ever northward. On the southern side of the river, you've been through this path many a times. With the varying state of getting chased. <laughs> You'll eventually encounter that second town. That is, again, on the opposite side of the river. But otherwise, time will pass. Assuming you don't do anything with it, you'll go a little bit further and make camp. Correct. Oh, uh, the guard would have, uh, I want to wreck on this end. Sorry. Uh, the guard, uh, would state basically that if, if he's going to like do adventuring work, like they're going to need to get paid more. Because last time, the guards helped you guys out and did adventuring work. They almost fucking died. <laughs> like, it was a horrific experience with the slimes, and everyone knows. So, they're gonna want, like, four gold per day. So, two. And, like, some sort of, like, a promise of treasure if you guys find treasure. Okay. Like, I mean, if he's not going into, like, anything crazy, that's one thing. But if he's doing adventuring work, you know. So does the party accept those terms? His service is most definitely not worth treasure. Like, if he's talking about, like, if we happened upon a magical item, he want, or items he wants claim to him. I think he just wants some gold. Yeah, he's talking about gold. That's acceptable, then. I'd make it clear then that like if we're speaking of gold we have a deal he nods says I'm not an adventurer I don't care about other shit I mean if it's like art objects or something I would argue that that counts as gold cut to us happening upon like three magical paintings and not wanting to give him one yeah, well, that's a magic item. He's saying, like, if it's, like, gems or something, he's not, not going to be satisfied with the, oh, well, it's not technically gold. Right. All right. This is acceptable. We carry on. Yep. Uh, or we rest, rather. Yep. You guys rest. Time will pass. You don't get attacked this night, even though you're camping pretty close to where you got attacked that last time on Dragon Ball Z. And you begin making your way to the fortress. I like the party to make some perception checks as you do this. All right. Uh, I guess I'll yeah roll one for the guard as well. No, it should be full. It should be full's gotta be like on it. Should be full already rolled. He rolled a five. No. Hey, okay. that's why we hired him. Yep, there we go. He's yep. paying off that four gold already. The guard is not surprised. Lovely. Uh, I'm gonna bring you guys to a map. Uh, I'm just clearing it out of random garbage. So you guys are walking. And you're starting to go, like, up the foothills. You're at, like, the fortress is in, is in sight. You know? So the trees are slightly sparser, but there's still, like, just tons of brushery and stuff. Hadrian... This guy is like jingly, shiny, mm. and chainmail, shield, Chibifle walks with purpose, having fucking almost died yet again recently. 
Look, I'm sure that XP is going to be fat. Yeah, it is going to be pretty fat. Basically, guys are moving and sort of like hopping out of the bushes. These positions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's the... Let's assume you're going northwards. Where's the guard, by the way? You can just put like a marker. While I do stuff in the background. I'm probably back. There's no way the soldier's in the front. Is it like this? Yeah. That's what I was okay. That'll do. Yep. So as you guys do this jumping out of the bushes is a bunch of dudes who they've had the advantage of time. So I'm gonna just give them each or half of them some rolls. I should say. I'll do like groups of two other than special NPCs. So I don't want them to think about it too hard. So one, two, three, four, four checks. Let's see how well they do. So one, two, then archers. This is their check. Three, and then the biggest man, who also is pretty decent. That's not his sheet. This is his sheet. It's not that good at it. Okay. Hey. So only Hadrian is surprised, thankfully. <laughs> As all these fucking dudes jump out. Bailiff, pay attention! <laughs> this snot bubble fucking pops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this is the amount. So we can, uh, we can get rolling on combat. Let me just clear out everyone's old initiative. So Aldrich got five. Is that correct? Womp. Yeah. All right, I accidentally deleted your new one. Four? Man, I'm not going ever, dude. The second I get to act, I'm going to be, like, at 4 HP already. Well, that's very generous for <laughs> them. Look, God was getting crunched last time, and now I have less AC. That is true. All right. This is their order of operations. We'll switch the music to the combat music. Field of Heroes, once again, by Tabletop Audio. It's the Skirmisher's turn. Thanks, Tabletop Audio. They will move up and tag Aldrich. It's 14 hit. Ah, no. This one will move up and attack the guard. Oh, hold on. You guys are in formation. Wait a second. It's the snot bubble clicks on his brain. It's like, mm -mm. I can only get two. I think I would angle it so that Hadrian and the guard are hit. Oh yeah, I forgot they have the stinky shit. Whoa. Play around that. This one, seeing its companion, will do the same thing. So two con saves for Hadrian, two con saves for the guard. As you guys get engulfed in fucking fart gas. Good lord, okay. Not so, fart gas. 10 damage. Meanwhile, the guard actually has pretty decent. So he saves both times and only takes 6 damage. Pog! It's good for him. Jibby. Fucking health 6, a big chunk. Uh, well, Beefle wants to be 30 feet away. Yeah, I'll just you know. reveal more area. 
was this old token from previous combat, which I'll hide. Alright. Beef. What else does he do? He'll shoot at this one. Alright. He fires. It misses. Well, shit. Classic beefal. The big guy runs around Hadrian and squares up with Aldrich. Oh yeah, he hates me. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Archer one attacks Adrian? guard. Adrian! 13 hits the guard. 8 piercing damage. I can't believe you called him sturdy. How dare you? <laughs> Look, the other guy would be unconscious by now. This archer is going to shoot at Hadrian. And misses. Aldrich, it's your turn. Guy says, Oh, I thought you got that. How to have the least fun. Play a wizard and piss off this guy. <laughs> I know. That's how it goes sometimes. Look, you don't want to piss off the guy with fragment eggs. It just is what uh, it is. I'm going to fucking... I think I'm just gonna... Fuck. I, I guess I'll... I mean, disengaging is bad. There's no way disengaging works. I just get hit the next turn. So it's dodge, or it's... Quick spell, right? Or... Quick spell, but like, dagger. quick spell is gonna fucking suck, too. I don't want to be hit. Okay, I, I guess I'll, I'll unleash a burning hands. All right. I'm gonna fucking die. Burning hands. Burning hands. That is a pretty good burning hands, I think. Let me look at the numbers. Six, two, four. Mm -hmm. yeah, average burning hands, slightly above average. Well, I just remember last time he rolled like a one that was like a three burning hands. So the little guy gets hit for 12 little guy relatively speaking the big guy oh the guard doesn't have initiative does he oh good point I forgot all about that uh, he okay he would have orders to dodge action I think all right, which attack hit him? All of them. Yeah, but let's see. So it wouldn't have helped against the range attack. Uh, what's the other one that hit him? His con saves. So he just has the dodge action going right now. So not much changed actually, sorry to say. Excellent. Uh, hold up. Uh, the other guy took six. So this is six damage to this guy, for the record. The big guy? Good word, okay. Yeah. All right. It's the soldier's turn, fortunately. Adrian, you are no longer surprised. Woohoo. What does the soldier do? He's kind of super fucked right now. Uh, I think he just has to take the dodge action. Well. Uh, and perhaps, um... No, no, that's all. Does very decent damage, but he doesn't have. He's in over his head. Could say. Uh, I think the skirmisher will take a cheeky stab at the guard, even with disadvantage. He misses. Skirmisher 2 attacks at Hadrian. Uh, does 19 hit? Yep. 
would it hit if you had two AC? No, it would not. Nyrell shield. Woo. All right, excellent. Bounces off the Nyrell shield. Last but not least, uh, one attacks Aldrich. Well, actually, it's a little bit injured. He sees the Beefmeister. All on his lonesome over there. The chieftain is literally squared up with this guy. I think he goes for the beef. So he'll walk away from you, Aldrich. All right. But you already used reaction, so it doesn't matter. Mm hmm. He swings at beef and misses. It's beef's turn. All right. Beef engages him in combat. Honorable combat. Draws his fucking short sword. His new short sword, you mean? 14 does not hit. Damn. It would if this guy didn't have a shield, unfortunately. The big guy attempts to punch you, Aldrich. Here we go. He misses. Amazing. Classic big guy. He has plus six to hit. He's just rolled like dog shit his entire life. It sucks that to be him. Me. It would be awful. True. He would have had to compete in athletics against a big man. Or something like that. Hadrian. Man, how much do I... How much is a good, a good idea to burn my fucking action trying to make these guys fail with DC-12? Alright, two misses towards Hadrian. Aldrich. Um... Shit. Uh, Aldrich is gonna move one, two, and yeah. take the dodge action. You hear Sky groan audibly in annoyance. <laughs> oh, chicka popka! No, no, no. Hadrian, it's your turn. Uh, see your guard buddy is almost dead. You see everyone else is foolish HP. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm just gonna walk away from this guy and get over here. Pray that my 18 AC saves me. Yeah. does. Blonks. He yep. slashes at you, but unfortunately your chainmail is so good. I just... Doesn't do damage. Alright. And then the, uh... The attack. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> time smite, to go, buddy. Smite! Smite! Oh, yeah. No, it's my time. 100%. Come on. Smite o'clock. Jesus. That one's so good. Oh, don't worry. Guess well, there's another one coming. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. He's already yeah. dead. Yeah. I, I imagine that it's just like I just, like, overhand it. You just go, boof, and the guy, like... It's the ground and bounces like three feet back up in the air. Yeah. What is the guard's reaction to this? <laughs> shock and awe. <laughs> At first, he thought I'm he sure was the fucking. The wizard had shock and awe too. Yeah. Well, no, the wizard didn't have time to even register it. <laughs> guard has got hope now. He's initially like, I let these stupid motherfuckers lead me to my death. <laughs> even after all the other guards were like, don't trust them, bro. But now he's like, so oh, shit. Because I think I moved, what, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so then go. 1, 5, 30. Get back in between this other guy and this guard. Yeah. Guard uh, will inquire about orders. He's extremely injured. But This guy better not go back and talk shit. He was warned. Like, you know, you might fucking... We're going to fight things. It's adventuring work. No. Yeah. It's, it's if you almost die, buy better armor. True, well, he can't afford it yet. He will be able to afford it, maybe, if he does not die. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, so... Kind of vaguely inquires for orders. And tell his heart's not fully in it. At one-third yeah. HP. Yeah, well, I'd say, hold still for now. Steady! 
Basically, yeah, I'm just gonna ask, so tell him to keep dodging until I can fucking heal him. Okay. He accepts this. It's the skirmisher's turn. <coughs> Jabifol. Aw, oh, damage. Six. The other one hisses and, like, calls out to the big guy, points at Hadrian, and it swings at Hadrian. And this is missing. Beef. Beef Wellington. Beef swings. He hits four. 1d6 plus four. two. 1d6 plus, plus two. two. Oh. Eight. Eight damage. That's a lot. Big beefing. Big guy. He really does not like you. He wants to kill you. So he fucking. I'm sorry, damn it! Swings. <laughs> no, you're not. You shouldn't be sorry. He swings his axe to 16 hit. Oh, it does. Oh, he's he's happy swinging his axe, but also disappointed because he could have grabbed you at this point had he not. He doesn't even damage my HP. He slashes your barrier. Oh, fuck off, fuck off! He's very unhappy. Get him off me! Adrian, you're getting a barrage of short bow arrows, which miss Aldrich. Oh, wait, hold on. They have two attacks. No. Sorry, no! They miss both. Okay. Aldrich, it's your turn. You felt it is the. It's so annoying. Vance yeah. is so fucking annoying. I can't cast spells because the boss hates me. If anyone, it could be anyone. It's not because the boss hates me. It's because I'm a witch. Because anyone hates you. And there's melee yeah. characters. If they stand next to me, I'm disabled. I get to fucking dodge. Dodge That's action true. is pretty fucking nuts, though. The dodge action is unironically like the most underrated. It's that is extremely good. Powerful. It didn't save me. <laughs> save me. So, see, that's the thing. You gotta play the new monk, and where you can just dodge as a bonus action, like for free all the time. I guess I'm gonna turn on shield this round. Yeah. You can cast spell. Oh right, I can't even do that, or I risk getting smacked and not having the spell work. It's a low percent chance. Fuck me. If it happens, though, I'm so fucked. Two points failure. It's a free attack on me, right? Like, true. That's so not good. Uh, let's see. Fifteen foot cone. I have one more burning hands. If I do it from here, I'll, I'll just do that. <laughs> so I move here and burning hands them. All right. Let's see it. All right, I'm gonna start with the skirmisher. If he fails to save, he dies. Let me see it. Ooh, he fails why? to save, he dies. Meanwhile, the big guy also, also fails to die. save. <laughs> Does not die, correct. This is 10 HP out of his HP bar. So you're making good progress on this giant hit point bar. Adrian, it's your turn. Man, I wish I had bonus actions, that's for sure. Um, all right, I'm going to order the guard to go back and help them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I'm just going to stay in here. I'm going to give him... 10 healing from Lay on Hands. Alright. 10 healing. Yeah. Then, it says. Uh, stay in, get in here. Thanks, Bailiff. I will help. He better come fucking smack this dude. That's what he's doing. That's what he was ordered to do. Yeah. He attacks. I haven't updated the button, but if he hits. Yes. Hold up. Ooh, if he hits, I'm yes. going to hit this other button. Because there's an on-hit ability called yes. Heavy Strike. Ooh, yes! So it does 10 damage, and the guy must make a strength save or fall prone. 
Now, this guy is very good at those, correct? Yeah. It's plus four. He Damn, does not fall still, prone. He almost did it. He's like knee wobbles. Yep. <laughs> the last skirmisher misses. Jabifle. I'm free. He shoots the boss. <laughs> free of this hell. He does not shoot him. He wants <laughs> distance, though, so he'll be 30 feet away. Yep. He moves. The boss. Jabifle, the other archers! We'll swing again at Altarch. He misses. He can only hit on other people's turn, so okay. Yeah, true. The archers continue to ping Hadrian, or attempt to. But the arrows just like fucking fly. The Matrix of slow mo style. Yep, a couple fine gaps in your chainmail, or like hit at just the right angle to pierce. Take ten damage, I think. Uh, I take I take less than ten damage. Take seven damage. Yes. Considerably take, less. Take one less. I'm not. Take six damage. Outreach. Oh, so cocked. Um. I guess I'll, I'll disengage. I'll get some distance. Alright. Now he's the one who has to like take reaction attacks if he wants to keep attacking you. Uh, yeah. Hadrian's return. Oh, I can shoot my crossbow. I forgot. Oh. Well, not we if you disengaged. Oh, right. No, I can't. Sad. Right. Uh, I'm just so wrapped up in can't fucking... cast spells. On the positive side, you wouldn't have been able to use the crossbow either, melee. Okay. I feel like I move away from this guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Slashes against your armor uselessly. Yep. And uh, then I'm gonna heal myself for ten using my stuff. Yeah, your lay on hands. Get. Yep. Clash my lay on hands. And get up in here. All right. The guardsman spears again. Twelve does not hit. Death. It's so close. This guy doesn't have much HP for AC. I was gonna say, he has a lot of HP. <laughs> yeah, not much AC. The skirmisher enters the calm go line. Mm -hmm. Oh, he hits. And he does much damage. Only 10 minus brace. So, six. Yep, beef. Okay, beef shoot. Uh, I guess he'll try and like guy. find an... Sure. Yeah. So I don't want it. 17 probably hits. Yep. Big damage. Oh, big fucking damage. To this shitter. Huge amount of damage. God, the chieftain wants to go after Aldrich, but does he want to take two attacks opportunity for it? I don't think he does. That's why we're trying to fucking corral him. Yep. He's now the one who's cucked. So on one hand, the guardsman has been pinging him, but on the other hand, Hadrian has been announced as the threat. So I'm going to do a D2, because there's tactical reasons for either one, right? So two is Hadrian. He swings at the guard. Oh god. Bro he misses. Like famous fucking god. Nah, he, the guard's got a decent amount of HP now. I put him back up there. Yeah, just no AC. Yeah. The archers continue to shoot at Hadrian. Actually, it's going to be two Hadrian to the uh, other guy, I think. The guard. Alright, Hadrian 
take six. Pretty sure it's just straight up six. Mm. Guardsman gets crit and then no. missed for 10 damage. No. <laughs> He's knocked back down, down to earth. Unhealed. Yep. On the positive side, his shitty AC wasn't the problem this time. True. Aldrich, you're free of the cuckoldry. It, it does feel nice when I can finally cast a, a spell. I can see clearly so now the rain is ray. gone. Uh, I'll shoot two scorching rays to this little shit and yeah. one to the boss. Yep, I forget if scorching ray is one of those where it hits all at once. I feel like that's more true of magic so. missile. Huh? I don't know. When Baldur's Gate, I think they fired it all at once. Okay. Well, let's see the attack I rolls. Mean, yeah, Gate isn't the fucking. All right. So two to the little guy, two. then one to the big guy. Yeah, first two to the little guy. Yeah, one. roll damage on one of them. Just one of them. Thirteen does not hit the little guy. No, sorry to say. Sixteen. Sixteen does not hit the big guy. I was doing it one character at a time. Now for the big guy, you can roll damage. You're scaring me. Nah, the dude's shirt was wearing a loincloth. It's now 16 AC. <laughs> now you might say, well, the other guy's shirtless and wearing a loincloth and has 16 AC, but that's because he has a shield. Good shield. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. I want to be further away from the boss. Makes sense. Hadrian, it's oh, your I turn. I fucking gone to this tree. Yeah, fair enough. I think. I think Hadrian wants to not be fucking flanked. I think I'm gonna swing at the guy behind me. Yeah. Plus Can 10 to that. Channel Divinity. He bounces off with his shield and then the Channel Divinity Whoop. curves the mace yeah. back in. And you hit. Four. 11. 11. Do you add any spice to that, or is that just a weapon? Uh, I think it's just a weapon. All right, kills him. Yeah. Crushes skull. Hell yeah. Okay. Collapses to, to the, the ground. You know, turn back to the guy. Bang my mace on my shield. All right, give me intimidation to have him target you, even though he's was attacking the other guy. Mm, he'll think about it. He'll think about it. It's the guard's back turn. He'll be getting back to you on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the guard's turn. Do you have any orders, or is he gonna just go for Baroque? He may or may not make a morale check. Uh, do I have orders? No, not really. <laughs> All right. Tell so him to dodge. Yeah. Dodge. Okay. If you tell him to dodge, he will dodge. It's like a Pokemon where they just say dodge it, and it's like. Bitch. Beef. Alright. Uh, I suppose beef will start to kind of circle around. And uh, this turn... I'm definitely. not sure how far he can go. Yeah, he definitely. Dude, the thing is, none of these squares were accurate because of yeah. you know the limitations of the map. Well, doesn't that mean he's even further down? Potentially so. Um, this is just a visual representation. Bro yeah. sees a tree. It's like reality's over here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of... Well, whatever the case, he's going to start working towards a fucking angle on the archers, and in the meantime, he'll shoot the boss. Cool. Let's see the roll. 13 just barely hits. 9 piercing. Hits him in his shoulder. Growls, pain. So I'm gonna have him roll wisdom to fail to Hadrian's intimidation. Uh, just first up, and then I'll have him think about whether or not he actually wants to attack Hadrian, because the other guy is dodging. But doing this one at a time. So the Hadrian shuffle does not work on him. Now he's just thinking pure calculus. Of a of a small in his creature, he's not that dumb, but still. 
This guy's dodging, has hit the chieftain, but is not much of a threat. Hadrian is very big threat, but very armored. Aldrich is unfortunately out of reach, and he's going to have to break Aldrich later, after he kills these two first. I think... Hmm... I think big man, if, if he was a more intelligent enemy, I think he'd go for the guard, but I think he does have that bias in his mind, where it's like, I'm the biggest man, I must attack the biggest foe. So he will swing his axe at Hadrian. It's 18 hit. What a compliment, yes. honestly. It does. Alright, you take 14 damage minus 4. That's why he wants to kill yep. me so dearly. Well, you... Just that big. No, unfortunately, you insulted him. His honor and pride. He considers you the, like, brains of the operation. So you can do crazy things with your hands that he's never seen before. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's fucking weird. Yeah. You laughed at him. Laughed at him after killing his boys. And then humiliated him, escaping... Yeah. So, Hadrian, a couple pings. Oh, that's so not great. Oh, it's only three damage. Then the guard. Is there with disadvantage? Both miss. Aldrich, it's your turn. Hadrian is looking. Fucking yeah. beat the fuck up. Yeah, well. Uh, <laughs> Join the club. Uh, Join the club. <laughs> Yeah, true. Okay, so I have a really fortunate angle at the moment. Yeah. Easily can hit that guard, or that guy. Doesn't have so, cover. Scorching Ray. I'll give him two and one to the boss. Alright. Shit. So, Shit. one Scorching Ray of the three hit. It's the archer. That's not good. That's a very mediocre scorching ray. Adrian, it's your turn. Alright. Uh, if I cast fucking cure wounds, I get attached, don't I? No, no, it's a melee Actually. spell. Uh, oh, okay. nice. Then, yeah, we're doing that, I think. Because then, cure wounds would be so booty if you couldn't move before casting it. Yeah, true. Uh, one, yeah. Did it actually roll two? Sure did. That's terrible. Oh, no. Did roll two. In more ways than one. Well, still, you're up to uh, 17 HP. Yep. The guard will continue to dodge. It says, I hope you guys have a plan. I think just you stay alive. Now, but yeah the beef all right he continues his move um they still ha all have cover huh well that looks like a shot that is indeed a shot it hits for three minimum that's the duality of the beef true It will, uh, the sky will continue his onslaught against Hadrian. Oh no. Oh, uh, yeah, he whirled minimum. Well, That's one good. above minimum. So eight damage. It's four. So I only take four. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So now it's the archer's turn. Uh, one archer is a little bit annoyed at Aldrich for fucking roasting him. So he's gonna ping at Aldrich. Does 21 no hit? Way. It does. Even with three forest cover? Yeah, I have 15 AC. Oh man, Sag. Didn't ever get my shield off. Oh, uh, that sucks. The other one. 
was shooting at the guard, so I think he shoots one at the guard. 15 hits. The guard is on death's door. Oh, that's very sucky. He might shoot at the guard again, but I don't know if the guard would uh, like collapse the ground prone, you know, in defeated state like the bandits do. Yeah, he might. I'll give him a morale check. So, 2d10 high is brave and he'll have to roll like fucking really high. Or uh, low is brave and he'll have to ro pr roll pretty low. To not just like collapse and heap. He stands. This ground. The archer shoots one more. Disadvantage. He, him on the ass. <laughs> he hits him. The damage doesn't matter. The guard must make a death save. And he rolls. It's eight or higher, right? He's not dead. Lovely. He hangs in there. Aldrich, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Death's door has been knocked on, but not stepped through. Aldrich says, dodge this. And he summons a fire trap right next to this guy. All right. You'll attempt to dodge this. <laughs> Why'd I tell him to do that? Yeah, he gave him warning. Fuck, he only takes nine damage now. I would have killed him otherwise. Cry classic rookie mistake. Adrian, it's your turn. Uh, okay. I guess we whack, whack guy. Whack that man. 24. You hit. Easily hit. For nine. Is that all? Well, you're not killing yeah, him either way. Yeah. So. Alright, so the soldier is very conflicted at this point. I mean, he rolled five kind of thinks that he can't get away but also if he if conditions don't change he's literally gonna die yeah maybe he just wants to lay on the ground what no well because the big guy oh yeah well, you know, pretend well, i think it's it's disengage or dodge it might be disengage and go on the ground mm -hmm. yeah that too that's kind of what i'm thinking like, he's maintaining composure, he's waiting for his opportunity, right? But he, uh, disengages and goes prone. It's like, I'm sorry, I'll try to get back if I can get healed again. Alright, B4 he could to... not get healed again. Well, he doesn't know that. Oh. I don't think he has 10 AC. Oh, 10 AC, yeah. Sag. Chieftain will say something at Hadrian that Hadrian does not understand. <laughs> then after a beat, he shrugs and swings his axe. Yell at him. <laughs> he raises his axe and like looks over at Aldrich. Give me your best persuasion check. <laughs> I, or intimidation. Specifically, I am going to... Tr I'm trying to convey that I'm laughing at him, and I think he's a joke, and that he's mm -hmm. gonna die. <laughs> yeah, give me... Give me your check. Performance. Mm -hmm. Yep, any charisma check. Damn. <laughs> he, he puts, like, a one finger up, and then <laughs> swings at Aldrich. Or Hadrian. And God. hits him for only 12. Yeah, only 12. Oh, so not on death's door. Fucking dead. 
Yeah, uh, okay, so... I still take nine damage. Yep. He might be greedy, actually. Come think of it. He's got two buddies. I think he is going to be kind of greedy. He uh, shouts something to the archers and like points a thumb towards Hadrian and then fucking walks towards Aldridge. Well, I'm going to swing at him. No, yes. it doesn't even like hit him. All right, Hadrian. This is going to be a pretty tough one. I'm sorry to say. It's yep. there raining down hell on you. Uh, nothing but a light breeze. <laughs> <laughs> True. The shield just blocks all the arrows. Aldrich, it's your turn. You see this big man is coming. He's laughing. Oh, 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 oh. He's dragging his axe on the ground. I'll just go nervously. Like, ah, come and get me. <laughs> I shoot this archer. All right. With your crossbow, you hit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, fucking <laughs> kill that guy. Just <laughs> All right, Hadrian, it's your turn. All right. Um. Well. You have a brief opportunity, a window of fresh air. Yeah. I guess. Do you move up, risk anchoring him? Uh, I think that that's kind of the best option to do. But I think that I am going to fucking cast Shield Faith on myself for sure. Yeah. How come you didn't do that earlier? Because I forgot that it was a bonus action. Uh, Fort Gore. I understand. 20 AC. And then, uh, I don't know. There's like an action to like pick up a shield and shit yeah yeah so I don't really think I want to shoot you don't have like javelins uh, uh, I don't think so okay nope. well what else can you do well I've got the quiver and arrows but I don't want to you know be sitting here yeah uh, you know nothing well, you got movement, you got your action, so. Yep. Oh, alright. I'm gonna go run behind this fucking tree, and then I'm just gonna put down my shit and shoot at this guy with the bow and arrow. Okay. I don't have a button for the bow. But, uh, whatever. So, are you, like, gonna cut the straps, the shield, to get off and less than an action? Or are you. No, can you just drop it? I think it's an action takeoff as well. So you have to, uh, like, pull your hand out of it. If that's the case, then I'm just not doing anything. Yeah. Well, you can wreck on your move. Well, I don't want to get close to him. Okay. If I have HP. <laughs> Alright, it's the soldier's turn. Uh, he doesn't really... I mean, he'll throw his spear to you, Adrian. Yeah. Say. Okay. I can't really throw a good right now. <laughs> it's nod. Jabif. So now you have a spear. Right. Shoot right, him. We'll move. Beef fires an arrow at the boss. All right, he hits the boss for a decent chunk of damage. That's it. All right, the boss uh, continues to move towards Aldrich. It's definitely just going to dash. He's now up in your grill once again. The archers... Uh, gonna take some pot shots at Hadrian. Even though you've got cover. 
because he's ordered to take you out. Aldrich, it's your turn. I'm going to move one, two, and I believe I'm going to enter the dodge action for this turn. All right. The only issue is... Fuck. No, it's fine. Yep, dodge action. All right, Adrian, it's your turn. Uh, all right. Well, what's the range on the sphere? Not very great. It's like 30, 20, 60. Something. Oh, 20. Well, either way. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, I'm just dash, I guess. Yeah. Do you have your shield? Or did you take it yeah. off? No, I okay. the shield. It's... Are spears and javelins 60, different? 65. They are different, yeah. 60. Yeah, okay. So I get uh, behind this thing. I'm coming. I'm coming. A spear's range is 2060. 60. Yep. The javelin is 3120. They're just more aerodynamic. Okay, you wouldn't understand. The they're soldier. Lighter. It's not their lighter. The soldier uh, remains where he is, slyly moves to be more in cover from the archer. Beef. I guess he'll he'll take a shot at the boss. Yep. Twelve does not hit. Thirteen's the magic number. Damn. Chieftain swings at Aldrich with disadvantage. Ooh, miss. Beds the axe in the tree and pulls the axe out. It's like, You will meet your end. Big oaf. Hadrian, two shots. Got crazy AC right now. Do you have 23 crazy? He does. Uh, Wait, so. he has exactly 23. So, I'm riding so it up. Hold up. What's your AC? It's 18. Don't you have Shield 20. of Faith? Yeah, yeah 20. 20. Oh, Shield cover. of Faith! Shield of Faith! Bounces off the Shield of Faith. Hell yeah. Aldrich. Totally try to stab him. Yeah, just drop no. the drop the dodge action. Do one d four plus two to him. Yeah, I think this is just a, another dodge turn. You're the dodge tank. Mm -hmm. Hadrian. Ugh, okay. Can I even get there? 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 30. Yeah, I can get up to him. Yeah. All right, we uh, we do it. Oh, fucking smash for 14, dude. It growls and shouts at the archer. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. Your fucking job. Sorry, I'm just too tanky. I'm braced up. Beef. All right, Beef, we'll keep shooting him. All right. Kill this asshole. Should Beef shoot the archer? Just no, because just, there. yeah, just kill that guy. Focus fuck that the guy. boss. Eight damage. Most of the ads have been killed. Anyways. So, boss will point at the beef hole. And then he swings at Hadrian. Oh my god. Death's door. Yeah. Slashes you across the chest. I think you're effectively on one HP. Okay. As the like fragment axe like rakes through your chainmail, leaving a deep gash, blood like seeps to the ground, your vision's blurring. So, so ha, 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 ha. The archer will move up. Beef has half cover. He shoots at beef twice. One, once. one blow to the beef, Wellington glances worriedly back towards the chieftain who looks pretty fucked okay, good we still have the spell going so awesome. does death door automatically break the spell it does not 
Well, actually, it might. I think it does, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're right. You can't cast spells or concentrate on them. Very sad. All right, well, Aldridge is going to move. Aldridge will unleash the dagger. You're doing the dagger? God damn. I'm doing the dagger. 11. It does not hit. Hadrian, it's your turn. I think I swing at disadvantage, don't I? Let me double check the rules to see if it is truly disadvantage. So I'm checking. So I think I changed that. It was initially that way, but one of the rules got changed. Let's see. Your ability checks are at disadvantage. You can't cast spells or maintain concentration. So you can attack without disadvantage. Okay, well, we're fucking in there. Like swimwear, dude. Oh! That's really big damage. It's big damage. You are keeping the, the fucking target on your chest, though, for the record. Yeah, well, I mean, look, it's me or him. It's me or the dog. Yeah. It's Beef's turn. Alright, Beef's gonna go one shoot at the boss. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, or five, six. Tears of sadness. Over. All right, Hadrian. Another swing is coming at you. Just don't roll 25. Hadrian! <laughs> he misses. Yes, loser! <laughs> Beef Wellington. Two shots from the archer. Both miss. Uh, the archer's gonna maneuver over here. Aldrich. Die already! You stab him. For six Whoa. piercing. That's the most I can do. <laughs> there you go. That's very I'm good. Talking. Hadrian. Finish him! I'm fucking trying! Yes. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> You land a finishing blow. Describe this finishing blow. I think that, like, he gets stabbed in the back. He goes, Arr! and then I'm just going to get underneath him with the mace and just uppercut him into the jaw with it. Yep. It happens. And just, like, immediately after, just collapse on my knees. As he goes down, Aldridge continues to stab. Yeah. <laughs> Got a double tap. All right, beef just stern. Fucking shanking him. Um, I think Beef is gonna fire back. All right. Oh, 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 oh. He hits for five. Beef's got his number. Beef then lays down. Yeah. Puts his just sits down against the tree. Yep. The sky dashes into the darkness. The fog of war. I'll still I have him. Fucking goes. Yeah. <laughs> We can end the combat here. The guy will run away. You guys could potentially chase, but then you're going to be trading blows with this archer who can shoot twice. I'm not chasing. Fuck that. Yeah. No, thank you. So, yeah, the oh, chieftain right. is dead. The tension right, sort of fades. Long. Help me drag him. I know you're hurt, but... <laughs> uh, Beefle! Beefle, come here! Help that guard up! He helps the guard up. The guard will, uh... I'm just gonna put a skull to represent the fact that he's still on death's door. Beefle and the guard will come over. Beefle will say... We almost died again. Hadrian, I thought we lost you. But the creature is dead. I'm still on the ground, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> good, good work, everyone. I'll help you up. What the hell do so we do? Still on the ground? Yeah. Gotcha. Do we risk going into the fort? Not at this time. 
We must rest. They camp nearby. He will heed those words. An hour will pass, and the two of you will get off Death's Door. I'm presuming you have hit dice to spend. One. The last one. The guard has like three of them, I think. So you'll spend one. I don't know how many people. Oh, people has two out of three. The guard bounces back pretty good. The last melon. Beefle's not very happy right now. The guard has the same amount of HP as Beef. He's, he's pretty happy, relatively speaking. You can only spend one hit dice, for the record. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's... me. Yeah. I'm full HP. <laughs> awesome. It's the power of okay. distance. Or less fucked. So, one hour. Oh, do you guys just stay in the same spot and camp for the rest of the day? Like, 16 hours, just like... Or so? Nah. I feel like we might as well push up to the fort, because, like, this was all the lizard men that we saw. True. So you guys go after the one hour then? I think so. I'll just be really careful. What does being careful mean? Like moving slowly, staying near the ground. Like if there's any chance, I think I'm going to get a shot at just hitting the deck. Okay. Well, you guys can make it back to the fortress without getting attacked. These are my remaining spells. If uh, During that rest, I would have arcane recovered. Okay. Awesome. I get my channel divinity back. That's about it. My own hands is a long rest, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do some glossing. You guys get to the fort. Do you take any special precautions once you're here, or shall I just advance clock? You don't get shot at as you come up. Uh, Everybody, get behind me. All right, so the conga line happens. Yep. Guys, go traveling up the hill and are greeted with dead silence. Let's approach to the entrance. I'll just move you guys up. Hi. Guys, approach the entrance. And looking down the hallway, you can see that the barricade is there. I'll just move maps. Any creatures? All right, Aldrich is gonna go say you guys wait here a moment let me um you're all too banged up let me sort of try and um see if anyone's home if anything happens i'll run <laughs> good on you aldrich don't often hear the court mage doing the scouting <laughs> <laughs> Desperate times, your beefle. Have yeah. a seat. I'll be back. He sits down. You pass the rows of animal slash geckling question mark skulls. There's my stealth check for you. Yeah. You sneak up and looking through the arrow slits, you don't see anybody. All right, I want to stay here for a moment and just, you know, keep my ear to a wall. Not actually, but just keeping my ears open and focusing, see if I hear anything. Yep. How long? Uh, I'll sit there for a good minute or two. You hear no sounds. So you hear, sit here for a minute or two. 
Can you roll a luck check for me right now? You're going to want 11 or higher. No, 8 or higher. Oh, okay. Awesome. Second best case scenario. I'm just going to move this over here. Yeah, you don't hear anything. Okay. I will proceed. I All right. Carefully move over the barricade. Yep. I'll stay low. So I'll describe this place in slightly more detail since you're like traveling slowly. So these green things are like some sort of green metal, right? That is like a fixed wall in a sort of like angular manner, like uh, this kind of. And on the wall, oh, and there's like a little gap in the corners. And on these things, there are uh, symbols. Do I recognize these symbols? Uh, give me an arcana check. They don't appear to be magic symbols. I mean, they look similar-ish, but you think this is language. Hmm. Do I recognize this language? I'm proficient in history. Um, this might be demon. Demon writing. I suppose this is why they call it the demon fort. Yep. Previous occupants. Like you might have seen like demon graffiti being described in a book or something. <laughs> but this looks a little bit more proper than that because it's like they carved it into this metal and then painted it. At least that's what you that's think, cool. just given in a cursory glance. Well, um, before um, describing too much more to me, uh, I'm going to pretty much rinse and repeat this throughout the dungeon until I encounter something, or I, I like reach locked doors. Okay. I'm going to move about like you know 20 30 feet and then wait for a little wait for a minute and try and like keep to see if i hear anything i'll try and okay. remain as stealthy as possible while i do this yeah but i'll, I'll reveal the next room the so you can move yourself 30 feet and position yourself and then i'll describe yep a minute passes you don't hear anything all right i'll go listen to like this door here minute passes you don't hear anything naturally i'll make my way down here you hear like dripping of water hmm. but otherwise I opening the door all right you open the door and you see like an obsidian obelisk with more of this writing and a big old like basin of water all right. A pool of water, here. actually. Hear anything? Nope. All right. I'll listen at this door and open it afterwards. You hear nothing, and then you open it, and you see something that looks really out of place. There is a room with a tile floor. There is... I probably should have put it on the map. There's some sort of contraption built out of the same like pale metal sitting above the sink. Uh, there's a couch. It's a little bit, uh, it's not actually dusty. And there's a bookshelf with books in it. All right. And a bunch of stools. Uh, one last thing. I'm gonna go here and open after listening. Yep, rinse, repeat. You see a hallway with more doors. Oh, I must do the same. Rinse, repeat. You see a throne room All right. as with as skins someone. hung up. Oh, what kind of skin? Like uh, animal skins. All right. I'm going to head back towards the entrance. This is like 15 minutes later almost. I'd say. Guys. Is there any monsters? I didn't, um, 
I didn't look through every single room, but I listened around them. I believe it's empty. Oh, thank goodness. Well, uh, do we really want to rest in here? We might. That has doors in it. That's fair. Yeah, we could, like, do the thing adventurers do. They rest in scary places. I saw a couch, so... In here? You'll see. Oh. Guard will say, perhaps a evil demon noble lived here or something. I'm gonna perhaps. go check to see if the chests are still there. Aldrich would go, perhaps, and point at these, like, signs as we pass by. The mm. demonic writing is all over the place. Alright, Hadrian. You're lucky. Nine rolled 19 on the luck check. Three out of four chests remain. The locked one is gone. One. Yeah, uh-oh. Yeah. Well, it's something. Well, let's post up, take a rest, figure out how we'll get this stuff back. Um... That implies something quite awful, doesn't it? That they took it somewhere? Yeah. That there's more wizard men? Yeah. The fact that he was reinforced proved that, but this tells us that they have an interest in commerce. Or just shiny things. God knows. But hmm. they took it somewhere else. Think we could maybe trade with them? Not anymore. Uh, well, wilder things have happened. They are, um, they do appear to be uh, quite savages. Yeah. By the heads on spikes and such. Uh, kind of like, like orcs. Probably. No, probably not trustworthy. Right, but they are in fact warlike, which means they're probably um, open to accept uh, quicker, be quicker to look past uh, what's happened. Makes sense. Are we going to explore the rest of this place, or are we just hiding in here? No, let's let's make sure no one else is home. I'll um I'll take the lead. Kinda, kinda reminds me of when we like went in, fucking killed the dudes who were all like weakened. That's what's passing through my head right now. Oh, worry not, Jabifu. Worry not. I see an empty room. All right, this is fucking empty. There's a couple of rooms up here I didn't have a look at. There's a side of double doors as well. Oh. Uh, over there is some demonic altar and a pool of water. What, do they worship the water? Oh, uh, doubtful. Probably involved in some ritual or requirement. Holy water. Subject. It's all holy water. Oh, perhaps. Could cast, like, bless on leather over and over. What? Uh, hold the fucking... Hold on, Jabi. <laughs> Right, Aldrich is going to go try and determine if this is holy water now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you going to determine that? Unholy water. I don't know. I'm going to make Well, look, I can fry. I can, maybe bring... I can smell it. Hey. Yeah. I'll burn my divine sense to sniff it. It is neither holy nor unholy water. Just water? Yep. Looking yeah, at it now... Cool. Aldrich, you do see a couple like rune circles underneath the water. Huh. Can I try like like to speculate as to what it might be used for? Do I know of any magic that involves runes beneath water? Yeah, give me an arcana check. Uh the demons have some weird magic. You see, like, the symbols for fire in the circle. So, with a 22, you kind of have this impression that maybe 
perhaps like a boiler or something? Uh, I'd muse about that. It looks like those are symbols indicating flame. With the 22, you can see that there is some connection between the symbols and the obelisk as well. Huh. Like there's some inlays in the ground which go to it. Then I might spend a moment inspecting the obelisk, looking if there's any clear way to activate it. Yeah, and give me an arcana check once again. Yeah, you see, hidden amongst all the... Uh, text are like a few like interactable magic circles uh guys what's up how does a hot bath sound what what do you mean i think i might be able to discern this thing off aldrich will begin to fucking fiddle with it and test what the buttons do they don't seem to react to your touching them. No. Shit. Is it because I'm not a demon? You'd have to study it to really understand, but it's like there's no feedback happening. Hmm. You said I could investigate? I'm saying it might be another arcana check or maybe just like literally time spent fiddling with it, trying trial and error, right? Unless you wanted to name the things you're doing, right? Well, it would be difficult to um, conjure up any ideas of how to interact with this. Yeah. Other than like testing it with magic. One I can think of. It's easy. Yeah, is that something you do? Yeah, absolutely. That's probably one of the first things I'll do. Just sort of imbue my touch with some magic and see how it reacts. Okay. What, uh... You're using some wild magic, so give me, like, a description of your intended effect. Like, how much, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Get some water. Very um, moment. Yeah, I would try to just, like... <laughs> just focus on on like surrounding my finger with a faint magical force nothing intense okay it's like a basic like um you know i know if, if i know like well this is enough to power a normal heater in a normal magic heater i think are you trying to power the obelisk or interact with it because if you're powering, that'd be the whole spell. Oh, right. I see. No, just interact with it, I suppose. All right. So without like creating like a homebrew temporary spell, you're going to need to do like some sort of arcana check, not to like to achieve the exact goal, right? Sure. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah. You just like say. It's like a, you say the, like, verbal components, but you, like, very slowly just, like, touch the gas on the last one. It's very difficult to edge a spell like this, for the record. Like, coming to your mind, in the back of your head, you're thinking, I could probably write down a first-level spell called Touch Magic Object. So you're not going to be able to interact long. Uh, there's two circles. I don't think it really matters which you press. Unless you wanted to uh, roll a check beforehand to glean more about them. No, it's okay. I figure it's just there's two fucking runes and there's two buttons. Alright, so you touch the circle and it glows and seems to react to your touch and you can like wiggle it and the circle will spin. Yeah, I'll spin it. How hard? Like, how much? 
Um, I'll try and like aim for something that I believe is halfway. Just judging by like its ease of turning. If it goes really fast, I'm gonna assume that it's like a full turn. But if it has some resistance, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Assume. There's no like physical resistance. It's just moving your finger around the circle. Oh, I see. Then I'll just I'll create a half circle. All right, you do so, and you can see the runes. Both of the runes light up. Oh. Do you see this, Jabeefle? Beefle's I'm in the hallway, let me look. You can see two, like, sinister, like, circles of runes. Just, like, glowing faintly under the water. I'll just... Let's observe what happens. So, time passes. Is it explode? I'll no? test the water with my hand. Yep, you rolled D2, see uh, which one you did. Which circle you interacted with. Uh, can we make it a D4? And one and two is two? I mean, one and two is one. That uh, is fine with me. Uh, yeah, you scowled your hand. Take one D4 points fire damage. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you like slip a little bit and your hand just gets dunked in. The arcane ward absorbs this. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, this is nearly boiling. Well, I'm not getting in there. Damn it. Well, maybe when it, um, maybe later it'll deactivate and the water will cool down. Be a nice temperature. Let's carry on. All right. So you leave it cooking for now. Begin exploring. All right. Let's check out these rooms up here. All right. So to make a long process slightly shorter, these are three empty rooms with stuff in them, but like unimportant stuff. So there's a training hall with empty racks there's a kitchen, but something has been removed from the kitchen. And then there's they took table. The kitchen sink. <laughs> they took something. In fact, uh, give me an investigation check. There's a passive one, so I'm going to subtract a little bit. Oh, yeah. You think there's some other thing that was attached to the wall that has been pulled out of the wall? But it wasn't connected to the counters mm. all right is this just like a closet uh it's a staircase down oh god the what i'm nice saying is how about we find somewhere to hold up for a little while yeah i say the chest room uh that god. way if any demons come back at least we'll know if they aren't taking the money from us <laughs> Yep. Yeah, not without like beating you guys up, humiliating you. Yeah. So probably have yeah. more cold dead hands. Aldrich will um Aldrich will fucking put up some uh some rope in the hallway and bell. Okay. This will be very obvious to anyone walking through if they have dark vision. Or well if they have a light. Ah. Uh, well, I'll do that. And I'll also fucking I'll affix one to the back of the door or okay. whatever assist and much less obvious. So yeah, that'll that'll just help in identifying if somebody's near the door or not near. Actually, don't you have like one of those magic bells that goes off? Yeah, I have I have one more of them. Oh, you just want okay. I have yeah. Oh, I had to use one when I fucking slept out in the wilderness. Yeah, I didn't want so to get like, like, oh, that's so useful. I wish I gave one to Hadrian. Don't want to get gooned by six lizard men. Uh, I suppose this would be a good time to use it. You're not wrong. But it's also a really effective area for bells and strings. True. So where do you plop it? I'm just going to fix it to the doorknob, just so that if it 
if somebody's like silently opening a fucking door. No, I meant the no. float bell. Do you use the float bell? Do you not use it? Oh, I'll leave that to the bailiff's discretion. This one's yours. I'll hand it to you. It's up to you. Uh, well, what? Master Security, what do you think? It would be wise to use it. I'll pop it off uh, as soon as we intend to sleep. All right, where do you put it? Uh, I suppose, like, just in this corner. Okay. There we go. Or I guess if we put it here, if we, if we put it here, would it alert us to people entering? Uh, line of effect. Oh, uh, and... and Theoretically speaking. It just, it just rings, right, if somebody approaches it? Yeah, it rings whenever someone enters or exits so its area. We'd want it to be, like, right here. Or, fuck. It's, it's easily visible. It's not, it's not super big, visible. Yeah. Oh. And you could put it, like, right around the corner or something like that. Or, like, up high, maybe. Yeah, well, it floats. I'll, I'll it's going up high, no matter yeah. what. Yeah, yeah, I'll place it, like, above the fucking thing here. Okay. You know what I mean? I'll place it above the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, in the little gap. Act like a little security camera. Yeah. So, the float bell specifically is hard to spot in dark environments. It's like pain and dark. Gotcha. Do you guys see that cone? Yeah. Yes. I can't. I get, that's my, uh, I'm not holding that. My mouse. <laughs> well, draw another cone. It, I bugged it out. True. You're welcome. So, it's up here in the corner? Just like overlooking this area. Yeah. After doing that, I would quickly want to just assure myself that there are no secret doors behind its fucking vision. I'll just generally investigate this room and that empty one. Okay, hold up. The the float bell's up here though, right? Yeah. Okay. Just double checking. Yeah, so you're investigating so this is a blind spot. Yeah. I just want to know that there's no secret doors. Okay. Give me an investigation trip. No, you don't uh, see any secret doors. You see there's a bookshelf, but the books seem real. You see the contraption uh, nailed in. There's no, but like behind it, you can see there's clearly wall. Well, I, uh, if that applies for this room as well, I do it. Sure. Yeah. It'd be very hard to hide a secret door in here. You feel along walls, you don't see it, feel anything special. Alright, I then find a good book and go back. Okay, the that books are all demon. Alright, well I'll take the most important looking one. Yeah. The one with the nicest fucking bookcase. Yeah, so you open, I assume you open the demon book? Um, upon seeing, like, demonic uh, s scribblings on the fucking cover, I wonder yeah. if I would, like, not open it. You see... Dangerous. Yeah. No, I think it would just be, like, a text cover. Yeah, you're right. What's up to you? I'll not open it for the time being, but I want to take an expensive looking one. Yeah, you take... They all have a like similar-ish backing, so none of them looks particularly more expensive than the other. Ah, uh, they're just like different colors, but they're mostly just like black ones, like dark brown, you know. Grab a red one. Okay, so a dark red book. One thing you'll notice as you're taking them back is that the pages look red as well, just like looking at the top. And then side right. All right. So you guys rest. Is yeah. there anything you discuss? Do, etc., etc. 
I can see how much money's in this fucking thing. Yeah, you do have some time if you want to count out the rest of the coins. Sure. So... First of all, can one of you roll a <laughs> D75 to see D75. what percentage of copper? I've been re rolling real high. Yeah, you should be the one who rolls then. No, I should. I'm hoping for 75. I'm working on it. 14. Okay, 14%. Awesome. Should have done 3D, 20. Fuck me, bro. It is 2,250 GP worth of coins. <laughs> now a huge amount of it is silver. And 14% of it. Matter. And 14% of the value is copper. So something that I think we'll definitely be doing in our time in this room is sorting it. Putting all of the gold in one chest and then filling it the rest of the way with silver. Yeah. You can do this easily. Kind of. I mean, it takes a lot of labor, but, you know, you got time. Yeah, and we'd fill up the other chest with as much silver as possible. And we might consider just leaving the gold here for now. I mean, the copper here for now. Well, I put it this way. There's so much silver that there's no like putting the copper in one chest right like these chests were uh they had a lot of coins in them uh what was the percentage of coins that was silver again it was like a huge amount right like 70 something 73 something like that yeah so 70 percent of these coins are silver which means silver or copper but I'm just gonna do silver for easy math so we're talking 15,750 silver coins right divide that 15,000 yep so that's 300 pounds of coin silver oh no you could actually fit it in to a chest yeah. and a half so could we get all of it in one chest no 15 pounds all of it is going to have to go into another chest, assuming that no gold. So you could fit them into two chests, I think, actually. Okay, if that's the case, we'll just do that. And I think we could carry, um, we got four people in two chests, so I think we can take them back. Well, yeah. One of the chests is definitely going to be weighing 325 pounds. So it would be very slow going. But you could. We could do it. Hadrian and the guard are going to be carrying the heavy one. Yeah. It's easy peasy. Good. You guys take a long rest here, though, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Time passes. Uh, do you ever check on the... Well, I'm not going to say anything. So... Yeah, do we ever, wait, do we ever turn this fucking thing off? I'm going to go check on the water at some point. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to okay. say, wait a fucking minute. Why do you a, do that? A couple hours pass before someone's like, wait a second... The water. You left the fucking water running. <laughs> and the water is boiling and is very much reduced. Oh, God. Well. Turn it off. <laughs> um, I'll try. But if this place burns down after we leave, that's probably good, right? All right. Aldrich will attempt to turn it off. So you touch the circle and nothing happens. Can I try and um, make an arcana check and work the magic? Yeah, you can just expend another slot. You've done it once. You basically get one interaction through current, like without prepping a whole gotcha. new spell. Okay. So well, I can expend a slot. Yeah, so you circle it back to the original position, or yeah, no, to the yeah, yeah to the original position. All right. The circles fade, and they become non-glowing. How much water is left in there? Um. Well, it took a while-ish for it to get like full rolling boil. So there's like a solid half of the water. How many feet do you think? 
Uh, okay, can we still try for a bath? Yeah, it's like 1.5 feet. Alright. So it'd be kind of like yeah. kiddie pool bath. That's fine. I'll try again. I'll do... Um, does it only spin in the one direction? Well, I mean, you spin it back to the original position. Gotcha. So it goes either way. I guess I'll try the other dial, and I'll move it just one quarter of a turn. Okay. So that's another slot for the record. Yeah, it is, yeah. No problem. Yep. You imbue your finger. Aww. Move it one quarter, and you can see the two circles faintly glow. Actually, just one of the circles close. I'll test the water. Uh, I mean, the water was still boiling, and you just turned oh, it off. Right. So, for, for, I'll check. I'll come back in fucking like, twenty minutes. You know. Okay. So in twenty minutes, water is still hot, but it's not boiling. It's not scalding. Does it feel nice, perhaps? Yeah. Fucking bath time, boys. Let's go. Get those trousers there. off. I'm not getting in there. Aldrich fucking gets in there. To be full is curious. We'll go in as well. The guard. It's too paranoid to magic. Does not. Yeah. Beefle will not sit on the glowing circle. A wise decision, Beefle. He kind of like sits down. The water is basically just like stomach level, but like low stomach level. It's like, man, this would be way awesomer if there's if it was filled up. Yes, well, I got caught up. Just wanted to make sure we were safe. Yeah. And you think this thing would run it would have run forever if we just left it? Um I couldn't quite tell you. It's possible it would have turned off. Probably wouldn't have. My guess is that it would have kept on uh, kept on burning, but it's difficult to know exactly how it's doing so, and thusly, whether or not it would burn the stone around it. How come uh, when you do the fire circle, it goes away? What do you mean? When you do the thing, this looks like the spell you do. Ah. Uh. Well, magic is a complex thing. Uh Depending on your incantations, your gestures, uh, y your intent, uh, the properties can change dramatically. It's possible to create runes like this that are quite permanent. I've never heard of anything like this. I thought all the demons were just like really stupid. I fear not. They are responsible for a uh, the great catastrophe that fell over this land. You mean the miasma? Indeed. True. So yeah, you guys have a warm or hot bath. As time passes in the bath, it gets progressively less hot. Alright, let's go fucking sleep. Guys, sleep? Awesome. Do you leave the bath on all night? Uh, I suppose I better turn it off. Alright. I can do so. You turn it off just fine. Long rest happens. You guys get your spells back. You guys can spend a hit die if you choose. I'm gonna hit die to spend. Jabifel has one remaining. 
guard, I think, also has one. No, he has two. He's a healer. It's almost back to full. You have something better than hit die, Sadrian. It's true. Got the juice. The Jamba juice. Okay. I wake up, I'm gonna hit myself immediately with the Jamba juice. Oh. The Jamba juice. It's pretty good. So what do you guys do next? Another. Another one. Yeah. Yep, the holy lion uh, well, fills your wounds. Let's go, let's go downstairs, dude. Yeah, let's check it out. Alright. I've got an uh, extra area. So you can see the staircase here. So I'll just like write a little letter so you can understand the connection here. Though I imagine you already do. Yes. So, yeah, you guys see two doors. One of them has, like, a circle on it, and then more of this demonic text above the door. By the way, what, what are your prep spells today? It's very important to decide right now. Well, they did two things of Cure Wounds, and one thing of Shield of Faith, used both of the Cure Wounds. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's, it's important for Aldrich because yeah. there might be more investigating or there might be combat. Who knows, right? I mean, so far it seemed empty, but... Right. I, I got it. Okay, no investigation. Gotcha. I don't have any. Well, you don't have any? No. No detect magic? No... Nothing? I have identify. I uh -oh. you know. Okay. I well, took yeah, don't let me I, tell you how to play your character. That's your spells for I, the day. I sacrificed, I, magic, but, yeah. I sacrificed such things for stuff like the expeditious retreat, unfortunately. That's fair. So yeah, you see a magic circle on the door and demonic text above the door, and then there's a wooden door, which is much less like like this one's stone, this one's wood. Well, let's go to the wood. Alright. Yeah, it's more warm, fighting, you know. You open the wooden door, you see an empty room. Beefle. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm not opening that. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't dare. Thank you. Would you. I'm wondering if anyone, if the Gecklings ever went in there. If they oh. avoided it, you probably should too. Yeah, let me uh, look. He does a survival check. Do you want to roll or should I? There you go. He says, there's some scorch marks on the walls near this fucking thing. I see footprints, sooty footprints that have gone in. Well, they didn't burn death. Or, alternatively, they burned death and their ally walked over their sooty corpse, but considering just the sure, the sheer power of those gecklings. Well, what do think, you think? I think if we paid the guard like 15 gold, he'd open it. Oh, no. be full. You're going to get a raise someday. I appreciate like it. like the way you think. <laughs> but no matter how big the raise is, I ain't opening that door. That's for sure. Your discretion, Bailiff. Something we need to mess with. I suppose it is. But the, uh, the footprints look like recent. They're not like super fucking old. They're Gatling footprints. Uh, okay. So, you know, somewhat recent. Well, I mean, I have religion proficiency. Can I go up to this thing and try to fucking figure out like 
unfortunately doesn't give you demonic language proficiency. Yeah, fair enough. If you had a spell like comprehend language or something, this would be easy, but unfortunately no such spell is in anyone's inventory right now. I'll poke it with my weapon. Yeah. Yeah. You poke the door. Okay. Well, is there a way that I can maybe break the circle by rubbing it or something like that? Um, it seems it like carved in there. It's carved in there. You might be able to try to disrupt it, but it would take a lot of force. Well, I'll go for it. All right. Sorry, wait, is it locked? It is not locked. Or you don't see a lock. You haven't tried opening the door yet. Yeah, was well, it a push or is it a pull? It's, there's knobs. I won't touch the knob. It's just teasing. You touch the knob? Uh, yeah, I'll touch the knob with my weapon. Yeah, you poke the knob. Oh. Guard comes down the stairs. What you guys doing? In a bit of an impasse. He recoils at the side of the door. Magic. Says. <laughs> well, what I'm gonna do is I'm like, well, I'm gonna use fucking around with it. I'm gonna take out my shield and place it in between the main part of like my, my body and the door, and then go out and grab the knob. Alright, you grab the knob. Mm-hmm. Go whichever way, push or pull, whatever the door does. Yep. You push the door, and as the like circle is broken, you can see it glows, and the entire hallway is engulfed in flames. Everyone needs to make a deck save. Else you're taking 27 fire damage. You have advantage on your save because you've got the shield. Wait, what happened? Still probably not passing it. I opened the door. <laughs> you you oh, opened no. <laughs> Do, Am I caught in this? Everyone is caught in this. The guard no might actually... <laughs> <laughs> the guard might not be, because he's at the hallway. I'm going to give him advantage on his save. And save for half, because he is, like, on the staircase. Is 15 good enough? 15 is the DC. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, Beefle needs to make a save as well. So the guard takes, uh, what's half 27? 13. No! no. Alright, Jabeefle's on death's door. As he goes fucking careening back, he rolls. And hits the fucking staircase. Dude. <laughs> Aldrich, you take 13 out of your 26 HP. Hadrian. I take I take one. You take twenty-seven damage. We are turbo braced. <laughs> and you also go rolling backwards. Yeah, it doesn't show me on the screen. You're a guy. So you're still at thirty-one. And there we go. But the door is partially open. Or I should say, with the force of the explosion, the door is, like, pretty opened. Okay. And you can see the door is, like, slowly trying to shut itself. Okay. Like, Aldrich, keep it open! <laughs> yeah, Aldrich, you can I hold the... It. You can hold the yeah, doors open. Give, yeah, I'm gonna give... 8 healing to, uh, to Beefle. Beefle. Just lays on the ground. He ta he accepts the healing. <laughs> can hear him murmuring to himself. I fucking I knew I shouldn't have been in here. And then twelve. The rest I was. Of the I was totally gonna money. walk up to the staircase. All right, and I'll get up and run up to the door. All right. Yep. And the two of you can hold the door, and you can see that there is a. It's another obelisk, but bigger than. The one in the pool room. 
and it has more text on it. And you can see, see anything else in the room. Yeah, you can see some uh, pillows, like old dusty pillows, like mats that are here. There. Shit, what the fuck is this? It's probably they prayed and shit in here. Oh, push into the room. I'm All right. Stay and hold the door. All right, Aldrich. It's going to be a little bit rough. What's your strength? Ten. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit rough to hold it open. You can. Well, if I see this, then I'm going to go back and then hold it. It's, it's, it's just going to take muscle activation, right? You can be in there for a minute easily. Ten minutes, perhaps. But more might require strength checks. Gotcha. I can, um... As I, as I struggle, I'll fucking, like, grab something. And, or I'll attempt to wedge something between the doors, you know? Yeah, wedge what? If I'm losing my grip and it's about to close, uh, you know, I have... Oh, it's not that notes. extreme. It's just like... an inc ever slightly increasing amount of force that you're holding back. Gotcha. So think like a weight machine, you know? I'll just I'll yell if it be if I'm if I'm losing it. Go ahead. All right. Okay. I'll get in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm start looking around. All right. So you can see there's three more of the like metal things with text. There are uh. the things, and then there is this thing. There's a pedestal <laughs> or like a counter with the like. I might be able Dang. to... Do you see any knobs or anything, like, on that heater? I might be able to interact with it. It's shaped like this. Anything? Hey, give me an investigation check. You can have advantage, because I was just describing what to look for. You see no magic circles. Nothing. No dials, no knobs. Nope. I'll, and I'll do a sniff. I'll do a divine sense sniff. It is consecrated. <laughs> okay. The consecration seems to extend only to the obelisk. Alright, well, can I try to, like, reach out and touch it? You can touch it. Okay. It's it not picking up anything else. It's just... cool stone. <laughs> Well, are you trying to, like, reach out to it? Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah. All right. See, you know, if I can glean anything else about this. Yeah, you can feel... Like, close your eyes, you feel like some sort of divinity, and you feel like a reaction as you, like, reach out. Uh, can you describe this reaching out? Like, a, a probing... Yeah, it's more just like inquisitive. Like, yeah, what are you? What is this? It's not like disrespectful. Not being like fuck you or whatever, but you know. Yeah. So, in spite of that, uh, see a spectral hand like lashes out, and slaps you. <laughs> okay, I'll kind of take my hand back. Aldrich will chuckle. But I'm just kind of. Maybe there's something under the rugs. Who knows? We'll pick it up. Look underneath them. Yep. I don't think so. And there's nothing under any of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's nothing. This is such bullshit. I'm. Well, I. I guess there's 2,000 gold coins waiting for us. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's leave. Come on. Come on. <laughs> get yourselves up. 
people slowly crawl to standing position. Oh, trust in yourself. Trust in your senses. <laughs> Problem is, Aldrich, I always sense that there's danger around, so <laughs> I can never tell if it's my senses tricking me or not. Paranoid for some good. Yeah, so is there anything else you do in this place or take from this place? I don't think so. I think the only thing we're interested in grabbing is, is uh, <laughs> like, I've got a book, you know? And, uh. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I'd say, hey, you know, there's a certain Oni in these forests out there somewhere who might be interested in one of those books. Say it hush hush, though. Oh. Should we? Uh, I mean, I think we can fit more in one yeah, of these chests. Just grab them. Grab, grab some. Either way, if we can decipher the language. There's a whole. There's a whole ass shelf full of them. Aldrich hasn't opened this one yet, right? No. Cool. We're not going to open any of them, but we'll place some of them in. We'll place some of them in the other chests. Okay. Say we can grab like four books, perhaps. Yeah, you can easily just put that in your inventory. Or the chest, I think one of the chests has room. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll put it in one of the chests. Okay. So you get two chests, and one chest is empty. Emptied it out into the other chest. We could just start take the chest with us, though. It's a free chest. I'm going to use my mule as a temporary chest. You do not have your mule with you. I know. Using its sheet. Oh, okay. It's a chest. Fair. So I guess we'll, we're going to leave. We'll begin travel. Uh, Beeple and I carrying the lighter chest. Yeah. So do you investigate looking for Oni Man or are you going straight home? Uh, straight home. Yeah, that's, we can do that next time perhaps. Yeah. Okay. You guys arrive home after some amount of days. Riches in tow. Riches in tow, indeed. Yeah, we're gonna walk up to the rat house, be like, fucking Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> Check this shit. Yeah, and his jaw will drop. Burst out. We're rich! <laughs> By the gods. The guard will ask what his share was. Oh, you break it up. Well, you can I'll give him like, like Would you like to fill your pockets with silver? No. <laughs> In addition to your four gold today. Yeah, he can do that. Seems fine to him. So he's mostly dodging anyways. Let's see. He's sure, he totally won't go back and tell all of his friends that we're fucking idiots still. We're fucking idiots that pay well. It's a paywell. The the magic circle engulfing everyone in horrible hellfire. Like that one probably is gonna get back to the boys. Yeah, you know. Let's see, well he wears padded armor and he has spear. So he might actually be able to carry a lot of silver. Well, I think the constraining thing is his pocket size here. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm certain you know, it's a certainty that he can only carry, like, triple digits, small number, you know? Well, if he can carry 10 pounds, that's 500, right? Now 500 silver is 50 gold, just not much. he will fill his pockets up for sure 
Well, you know, if it ends up being a lot, just slow down. <laughs> hey, you said I could oh, fill my pockets. Gold. Look, I didn't realize you were wearing fucking mithril. <laughs> I was wearing fucking cloth. That's why I got my ass kicked. And you're you're huge. Look at you. <laughs> you can, I bet you could carry a mountain. True. Okay, we could just say that he has four pouches. Instead of all of his, like, carrying capacity. Is that so fair enough? If it's 2,000 gold pieces, he can have, like... <laughs> 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 getting all fucking... I'm penny-pinching him. <laughs> yeah. No, he can carry 1,200 silver. Isn't that literally just, like... 100 gold? 120 gold, yeah. 20 gold. Great. If he's happy, I'm happy. It feels good to have four full pouches of gold. So he is content with that. To be full's like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> what about my share? <laughs> I did more than he did. True, actually. You're getting a share, and we pay we pay you what you get paid every two months what he just took. Don't don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> so is beef will get a share? Or like a beef full size share? Beef will get like, I don't know, fifty. An extra 50 gold? Yeah. Okay. I might fucking... I feel like if we just gave that guy 100, he can... I mean, we can give Beefle 1,000 silver. Okay. Uh, but there's like... We're gonna tell him... This is an order. <laughs> Invest in better armor. <laughs> so, uh, okay, this will be able to buy it. Jabifa will invest in his equipment. He'll get a rapier and better armor. Oh, yeah. And he may or may not get some other things as well if he's got leftover cash. Buy himself a health potion. Yeah, well, I was thinking, like, there's high-quality gear that he could buy to improve his, like, survival, maybe. Hmm. So, there's two last things to address. First things first. Do you ever open the demon book? No. It stays closed forever. Gotcha. It's not going to stay closed least. forever. It's yeah, going to stay closed it, until I can read up on demon books with human books. It also could explode. True. All right, good to know. Second thing, second XP. Yeah, oh. gold for XP. Yeah, the gold for XP is crazy, but there's also just the crazy amount of XP. Yeah. So, starting off with the Demon Fort. These guys were all the guys that you killed <clears throat> while alone with Beeple. Yep. So this XP is going to be split between you and Beeple, right? So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. And then one the bigger guard guy. Leveled up. A guard may or may not have leveled up. So, plus, boom, boom, boom. That we should fucking. You guys are probably gonna level up, for the record. We should, uh, we yeah. should tell this dude to just fucking get on our payroll at two gold pieces. <laughs> and fucking, we'll just hang on to him until we get the guard post, and when we get the guard post, we'll assign them to that. I think we have to get a guards for that, anyways, right? 
True. Yeah. So I think that'd be cool if we can just keep two of those guards. That's a maybe. It's it's one thing that's temporarily iron guard, and it's another like poach them. You know, probably have to <laughs> clear that with someone. That's what the guard would say. All right. So open up Beefle's sheet. Beefle gets. 490 XP. And this is the first round of XP, just for the record. Has it been filled in? Yeah. The rest of you get 980 XP. Whoa. Okay. That's the first round of XP. Yeah. You said 980? Yes. Okay. Wow. Now there's part two, which is this fight. So this fight was much less crazy than the one in the fort, but it's still XP, right? Mm -hmm. Big guy. It's the biggest guy. Well, yeah, but he's not that big, unfortunately. If, big. if he was slightly bigger, you guys would be fucking dead for the record. True. So there are four people, so it's going to be divided by six, and then you guys each get two shares. So open up Beefle's sheet again. He gets 250. Means we get 500. Correct. And each of you get 500. All right. Has it been filled in? Mm -hmm. Now for the third round of XP. Inside the chest there was 2,250 gold worth of coins. That gets divided by 6, so Jabifol gets 375 XP. How's that been? Not leveling up. <laughs> Jabifol. No, that's to be full done. And then you guys get 750 more. We are leveling up. I don't think we are. Isn't it? Oh, it's 65. I thought it was 55. Yeah, no. Oh my god. You said what? Wait, how much did we get on this round? 750. 750. We're at 5,932. Yep. Uh, One adventure away. Let's see. Uh, should I gr do group XP even for individual accomplishments? I feel like there could be a little bit more XP given. I mean, I feel like it's fun. Okay. So for figuring out how to operate the demon mechanism, Aldrich, you get 200 XP. Oh. This is not just this demon mechanism, but this is probably the key to operating any demon mechanism, right? Yeah, so 200. 200. Uh, for realizing that's a divine monument and interacting with it, Hadrian, you can get, I don't know, like 25 XP. It's a very straightforward yeah. thing. Yeah. Talk to me about my escape. <laughs> yeah, the great Altrich escape. <laughs> Many many successful checks were made. Many that creative is creative ideas. True. That is true. Many creative ideas, and you were probably on the brink of death if you failed a lot of these checks. I think another let's see, you used two whip finds, so I could say like another three hundred XP. No? Is there any other Hadrian things that'd be XP worthy? Uh man. I didn't really do anything too crazy. I mean I did fucking roll down the hill like four times in that last session. <laughs> but uh I don't know. I feel like Hadrian just put himself on the line a fucking a lot. Yeah, it's just a lot of straightforward combat. Yeah. 
but uh, I don't know. Talked to the big Oni guy, but it didn't. We, there wasn't a card. There wasn't a lot of checks or anything. Yeah. Maybe get 25 XP for popping the fucking death store cherry. Yeah. I guess. Still can't break 6k. Womp womp. Womp womp. Uh, did that fight with the dudes who antagonized you and you're just camped out. You remember what I'm talking about? You guys were in the tents and you set up the two strings. Did we do XP for that uh, one? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. I don't remember. I guess I, not. I don't think that was during, that was in the session where we first assaulted the demon for it. We didn't yeah. do XP. Okay, well there's four of them. Uh, you defeated them, but you only have defeated them, in my opinion, because they left when they're at half HP. They yeah. weren't really super in it, you know? Mm hmm. So. Jabifo would get 80 since he was there, and the rest of you would get 160 for that. <coughs> I think that's pretty much all the XP there is to gain. Uh, Beefo leveled up. Jabifo leveled up. Yeah. Awesome. I think that there's a half decent chance that uh, Aldrich might have with getting like what 400, 500 XP. So, from that. yeah. I didn't get so because I'm at 6,142, so you should be I higher. Am, I am at 6,432. Oh, wow. Very close. Amazing. Well, how do you guys feel at the end of the session? It was quite the ordeal. It was really oh, fun. Yeah, we did it, yeah. I thought shit was looking pretty grim grim when uh, Hadrian was on death's door, the guard was on death's door. Oh yeah, when uh, Hadrian just pushes through. Yeah. I am fucking sick and tired. I'm sick and I'm fucking tired. I'm yeah. going to, next session, I'm going to invest in some scrolls and learn uh, some melee spells. Perhaps there's a second level one out there or something that scales well up casted. Yeah. Cool. I was thinking about having like a disengagement type spell, some kind, like a non teleporty misty stuff. It's not shocking grass. Oh yeah, that would be good. I'm just talking about the, the like the, you have like level one spells like shock and grasp and it's not shock and grasp but you know, yeah it's like much better shock cross touch <sighs> freeze which one would you take shock or freeze uh, let me look at I think that um, the shock isn't bad. I mean, like as an abjuration wizard, I feel, I feel like shock would be uh, quite synergetic. Synergetic. It would have synergies. It's true. The, the thought of taking the two d eight though does scare me. That is and true. And second level spells are. Uh... I'm not gonna say they're bad. But there's so, not a whole lot of choices. Yeah. I get aid though. Aid is good. Yeah. I may or may not stock up some more new spells by the time next session rolls around. Excellent. I get fine seed. That's kind of badass. That is true. You can. You and can then because it. we're in the Briarwood, it'd be like a weird Briarwood fucking steed. True. You can take the um. Whatever the fuck it is, the spell that keeps you keeps a dead body alive for ten days. Yeah. For ten days. Uh, that way, like if either of us die, we can like write a letter to the queen. You know. Yeah, like, get a revivify. A huge, a huge debt, but live. If you're fast enough, you can get revivify, right? Or does it take a minute to cast? Uh, which one is that? Can paladins take it? 
gentle repose. Oh, wait. It is, in fact, not on the paladin spell list. Sag, it's on the wizard spell list. Yeah, of course it is, because wizards get literally all the spells. <laughs> Look. Paladins? <laughs> can't wait. Paladins was suffering this episode, okay? He's earned the spells by being a Vance They get it in, like, Tasha's books, optional spells. Maybe. We can discuss this later, though. Yeah, I'm, did. My brain's fucking roasted. No, it's one action anyway. So, you guys had fun? Was it a fun arc? Yeah. yeah, I think so. It was really fun. I'm glad you had fun. It was very hard for the easy campaign. But I feel like it was very, Thanks. very, like, opt-in hard. Because you guys oh, knew yeah. what was on the table every time you went back, right? Maybe the first time was not opt-in, but... Oh, yeah, no, the first time's on you. Well, you know, I thought the giant evil fort that had a bunch of guards on the outside, you know, would have been, like, a clear indicator. I thought you guys were going to go to the other human fort honest, first. I didn't see, I did not see it coming. Like, the there being a fucking big-ass one. <laughs> yeah. I really thought it was going to be filled with, like, the, you know, the archers the shitters. and the melee shield dudes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I feel pretty happy. It's like a eventful... Cool session, a lot of money acquired. I feel, I feel we, like we we didn't put the money on the fucking thing. Oh yeah, no, we need to. What's the yeah. total gold amount? Oh shit. Okay, so it's okay. Uh, after the dude took the dude took an amount. Yeah, the dude took one twenty, and, and then evil one hundred silver. Yep. So two thousand thirty. Gold worth of coins. Or no, 100 gold. It's 1,000, so. 2,030. 2,030. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure. Put it in GP. Just make things simple, or are we going to fuck with all the economics of all that shit? For now, it could be GP. I don't think it matters in the coffers. Yeah. True. Okay, good, because I already did it, and I didn't remember <laughs> what the number was already at. Based. Yeah. I just could just Two thousand five hundred and seventy-five. Woohoo! I'll ask more right, about well. the players, like how the characters have been affected by this next time. I think because I really want to go. Yep. Okay. It was fun. I appreciate it. Thanks for playing. I want to be level five so bad. Dude, I thought you guys were guaranteed to be level five after yeah, this. Yeah, I kind of did too, but we're just it's just such a fucking large amount of XP. It's a big amount of XP. I'll work something out for the Jabifel as well. I think maybe it should be like perk plus another optional feature, or maybe perk plus yeah. one stat up or something. Mm -hmm. This is the final note. Would so, Do you think supplying... Uh, our dudes with ale was worth anything uh well it's it'll be worth a small amount of money yeah it's, it's for the next three settlement turns so it'll affect two paydays yep i figured so i'm riled up dude yep look just them being happy is worth it right yep oh absolutely True. God, guys just opening the fucking door, getting roasted. You tired of fucking around with it? That door did not fuck around. No, it did not. Fuck, if you guys ever go back, that fucking thing's gonna be shut too. It's yeah, like, well, welcome to round two. Yeah. I'm just excited to have more spell slots too, because it means I can prep more shit. Yep. Yeah. I have to constantly have a fucking you know, just healing spells and, like, other shit. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah so they gave fucking general repose to paladins and optional spells, but it's not in the PHP stuff. Very sad. 
Here's the thing, Gentle Repose, I feel like if you want to spend a spell slot, like a prep slot on it, I think it's paladin enough. That's fine with me. Oh man, are you ready for fireballs? Yeah. Nobody's ready for, for fireballs. Here's the thing, you're going to be moving into harder zones. Maybe you could go to the Zaltaton place or one of those chaos holes where the rooms are too tiny for you to use fireball. The post is a second level spell. Oh, yeah. first level. Second level. Good day. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, when you're like high enough level you'll have revivify too. So it's like yeah. you can put someone on ice and then one day later like revive them. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to be like what level nine before I get revived. Yeah, something like that. All right, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.